be attached to this bracelet uh, now. Uh, so it's all going on here. It's all going on here at Jewelry Maker. Should we kick off the hour? Shall we? <gasps> yes. Let's do Shall it. Shall we do? That's a beautiful chain Shall they let's... had earlier, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? Now, everything's under £10 in this hour. So what we're going to do, please yeah. forgive me at home. Please forgive me here in the studio. Yes. We're going to be quite fast-paced in this hour. And the reason is this, because if we get it on air, we can reduce the price for you. If I wow. don't get it on air, it, we won't. We won't be able to. It'll stay the same price on the website. So without further ado, let's kick off today's Late Show. Here we have for you a gorgeous strand of agate. Agate's really strong at the moment in the industry. We're seeing a lot of very big, yep. very bold, very statement pieces. To have rounds gives you an opportunity to perhaps create something like a matching bracelet. Clash, yep. I was talking to everybody over the last couple of days about... Um, the Spirit of Christmas at Olympia that I yes. went to last weekend. Yeah. Lots of big, bold agate, lots of pearl Fab. pieces as well. And the big pearls are out I there at the bet. moment. Very, very much on the London scene at the moment. Um, agate has spilled into a lot of collections. And, and you can see quite a big price tag attached to it. But not when you're shopping here at Jewellery Maker. I think we're giving you a bit of a trade price opportunity <gasps> here for under £5. four ninety five gets you this beautiful Amazing. strand. And the thing with strands like this is they give you the colour confidence. If you're not confident with colour, you just can restrand this into elastics and you've got a couple of stretches and maybe a few pairs of earrings out of that one as well. Now, that one's over-allocated, which means that we've surprised. got too many in baskets. You can shop on the phone, so 800 655 You can shop online, jurymaker.com, or if you've got the app, just tap it. Now, we're going to go to... Um, boo, 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 boo. Oh, some gorgeous opals. We've oh. got some beautiful blues. Remember, this is going under £10. Ooh. Everything in this hour promises to be under £10. Australian opal, a beautiful blue. This could go straight into a feeding bracelet beautiful. if you're doing things like that. Yes. Um, a, a, lot of, um, a lot of attention press-wise on things like amber necklaces yes. for teething babies, yes. and feeding bracelets for feeding mummies. So this could be a great one if somebody's got a baby boy. Just Literally, they just switch the bracelet over yep. according to uh, what's like they're feeding on. So I think this would be a great one. Fabulous as well as it's a, a birth gemstone. It's October's birth gemstone. This is opal and you're paying just seven pounds and 95 pence. What a price. Now you've got a, a whopping 50 carats. And of course it does promise that inner glow. That's what opal gives us. Mm. But to have these beautiful blues and they're kind of an earthy blue. These will work really well with other tones. And you can see, actually this isn't a one tone strand. You can see quite a few different tones that Absolutely. span across this. Very slight graduation. These are three by two to six by three. So you've got a tapered suite of jewelry perhaps if that's where you want to go. Seven pounds and 95 pense is your price. Uh, BYRU03 three is your item code now you've got a 30-day money-back guarantee on everything that you purchase from us here at jewelry maker so you know what fill your baskets up when you these are essentially sale prices oh. fill your baskets up get it all home keep what you want send back what you don't i love the subtlety of color on that strand it's beautiful it is isn't it sort of muted blues Beautiful. They've sold out. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I think Definitely most things are. I think prices. everything we've given you now has sold out. Now let's talk about the bones of your of oh. your jewellery making findings. Essential. They're essential. Absolutely. But when they're, they're not just essential when they're sparkly, they also add beauty to your piece. So these are the kind of findings that you want when you've got that special piece in mind. Three loops gives you an opportunity to run three strands from these and you've got a lobster claw clasp as well as an extender chain each end. So we've got a lot to look at here because you've got the sparkle from those cubic zirconias, you've got the gorgeous tone of the rose gold and you've got the opportunity of the three loops. So you're not just getting one pair of these, you're getting five pairs so essentially you're getting 10 of these findings um, with one lobster claw class per pair and you can take the findings off and use them separately you can take the extended chains off and use them separately this will work really well on a pearl necklace a pearl bracelet i think it's great if you want to do the pearl twist i think there's um, i think you can put a lot in there if you want to work with chips and nuggets and just give yourself that twist that twirl you know, right out, out there right now at the moment, it is all about pearls and the bling. We've seen Vivian Westwood coming out with a really large over-the-head necklace, which has a lot of rose gold, and you've got the white pearls, and you've got sections. You could do something like that with this. Um, and then we've got Chanel doing the same. We know that classic Chanel glass pearl Beautiful. piece. And then, of course, we see 
it, this replicated across the high street. Five pounds and ninety-five pence. Loads of you coming in for this. Do make sure you are checking out your baskets. Uh, we've got Greater Manchester, Bristol, Yorkshire, Essex, Merseyside, and Gloucestershire. Uh, always check out baskets. Now, everything that we've put on screen so far has sold out. Just so you know, um, and this is sold out now too. Uh, now, if you like that, stay on the phone lines because you might want to get. The matching wow. silver. By the way, if you are adding to your order, you only pay one P and P. So that's three ninety five. Oh. Now, this never happens, does it? You order a dress online, oh. you add a pair of jeans, that's it, you bump your price up. Um, now, we only pay we only pay here at Jewelry Maker if we're shopping three ninety five. That's how much we charge you. For the whole you. day? For the whole day, from midnight until midnight. I don't know anywhere else that does I that. I don't either. You park somewhere all day and go shopping all day. Oh. It's never going to happen, is it? Never going. I once ordered four different sizes in in two different um, uh, variants, oh, yeah. and I got sent four eight different um, PMPs. Oh, I sent the terrible. whole lot back. I was so fed up with no, it. No, that's terrible. Yeah. and you know what? We're, it's a free phone number to dial. Yep. It's also free to order online if you're shopping from abroad. Amazing. It's free to download the app. Yep. You know, these are, and, and by the way, if you're shopping with us for the first time here at Jewelry Maker, you don't just get what you're paying for here. You also get a, a Get Started DVD, which gives you a tutorial on how to start jewelry making, and you get a couple of free strands in the uh, mix as well, so you're ready to go. Five pounds and 95 pence gets you all of these findings. You knew where we were going to go with these. Uh, so the same as before, but this time in silver. F-A-G. P95 is your item code for that one. Uh, again, loads of you coming in. I'm seeing Berkshire with two. Joy, you've got yours. Verena L, um, jewelry maker in London. Barbara, Fiona, uh, Leslie, you've got yours. Um, just, oh, they've gone. They've sold out. Crikey, O'Reilly. I'm not surprised. You know, I'm not either. I have boxes and boxes of findings because you cannot make jewelry without findings. And yet, once you've made the jewelry, if you don't have nice findings, that's sad, isn't it? All that effort into something. It doesn't complete it. No, it doesn't does it? complete it properly. And it doesn't make sense. No. You put a piece of jewelry and you've got this fine, gorgeous piece of jewelry yeah. and then a cheap looking clasp or something just no, no, doesn't no, no. match. It doesn't. And, and the piece of jewelry suddenly doesn't make sense You're anymore. Right. You've got to get them when you see them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You do. Now we've got some real colourful ones uh, today. This would be a great one to put with any of those because you've got those sort of nature's colors uh, you've got here if you have a look at sort of these smoky whites yeah. the cloudy tones but then you've got some really beautiful greens you've got some striking blacks you've got some charcoals here a lot of different formation that we can see and i think there's opportunities here for quite a lot of different styles absolutely we could talk macrame we could talk stretchy bracelets we could put one in each ear and make a pair of earrings very simplistically and, and actually because of the size of the hole on something like this you can work really fast with it yeah, yeah. because it's got a very generous drill it's got hole. a very generous drill hole there's no messing around with it you know it's easy to work with and at 295 are you even a jewelry Ooh. maker if you don't get this maybe you're making christmas cracker treats hey this could be a few of these on a key ring you could have a handbag charm you could have a key ring with this yep. you could have a stretchy bracelet with this yep. get 10 of them i would now listen if you're if you're shopping with us to make jewelry that to sell on i think this could be a very fantastic um pr profit making opportunity oh, gosh, yes. ilg p03 i think so 250 carats loads of you there uh, don't forget you can give us a message jim we love hearing from you uh who's that from marlon Oh, Marion. Sorry, Marion. Hi, Jenny and Kleshner. Hi, Marion. Sitting here chilling with my lovely 97-year-old mum. Oh, Hi, Marion. Hello, mummy. Um, but, 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 sorry, my eyes are terrible. And I'm loving what's been on so far. Have a great show, Marion. Two oh, kisses. Thank you, Marion. Four back. Four yeah. back, yeah. Two from her, two from me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Buy two, get free, free. Yeah. Two free. Oh, I'm really bad at counting. Let's see. Two ninety-five. No Two ninety-five. Two ninety-five for that. It's crazy. Crazy, baby. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah. Uh, again, you must check out baskets for this. It does look like they've sold out. Uh, so we'll continue on. We'll continue on giving you fantastic deals. Uh, and I'm going to reach over here. And I'm going Ooh. to then also reach. Oh, this is so cute. <gasps> Hands up, who is obsessed with their animals? Hands up who wants to be reminded of their animals all the time. Yay! I'm 
I've got something for you. Or maybe the answer might be no to you, but you do sell jewellery on. Okay, come closer, oh. come closer. Again, we're talking about key charms, handbag charms, things wish like bracelet. that. Wish bracelet. Oh, is a I great would make idea. a wish bracelet out of that. And to make a wish bracelet, all you need is some cord. You simply cord it through, you pop it on, um, and then there's your wish bracelet. And Easy in fact, peasy. I should be making wish bracelets tomorrow morning. So if you don't oh. have the knowledge of how to do flat knotting or switchback knotting, tune in tomorrow morning and I will show you. We're live from 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, yeah. so please so do buy just that, that now and then come back tomorrow morning. Sounds like a plan, doesn't yes. it? QIKY01, 10 carats of rainbow obsidian. This pour is 15 by 14 uh, to... Why is it graduated? How is it 15? Oh, right, okay, so it may be between 15 by 14, it may be 16 by 15 millimetres, is that right? There's a millimetre in it, I don't know. It's probably because um, it's hand-carved, I would yeah, imagine, yeah. isn't it? I'd say so, hand-carved. I mean, can we just stop a minute knowing that this is hand carved yeah. and think and it's a genuine gemstone as well absolutely now if you are obsessed with your animals and you're a little bit obsessed with things like crystal healing and, and the meaning of things look up obsidian you're going to like this a lot now you get a rainbow sheen over the top of this it's hard to show you on the camera well, but you get that blowy. lovely lovely yes yeah. and reds and, reds and purples and... Ooh. It's, it's, it's beautiful, and because you've got the depth of the black there as well, I think this is a fantastic, fantastic buy. And, lots, and now you know it's going under £10. Really generous drill hole. Can you see the drill yes, hole? Yes, I would say that's about two mil. That's Ooh, I would say it's even bigger, actually. You think it's bigger than one I, mil? I would, because you can actually pop your um, tweezers, tweezers through there. right the way through it, and your tweezers are bigger than one mil. Oh, yeah, they are. Look, Look at that. <laughs> You've got two of the tweezer nozzles in there. So I've got it must two be nozzles two. in there, yeah. Uh, now, seven ninety five for that. I think Fabulous. it's great. I'd get a few of those. I think Absolutely. It, I think that I think you know what, people who have animals, I have a dog and a cat and a couple of ponies in the field doing nothing. <laughs> A menagerie. They're me as old ones. I'm me a menagerie at yeah. home, Jenny. I've just got a collection of animals <laughs> that I can't get rid of is what's happening. You know. Can you have a lap? That's not mine, that's next door's lamb, and oh. it just comes in, it's in my garden all the time because it doesn't oh, like sweet. other lambs. Oh. Like the other lambs. It thinks it's a dog, gets in the car. Oh, no way. Her name's Katie the Lamacorn. Oh, she also God. thinks she's a unicorn. Oh. And you can dress her up and everything, she loves it. Really? Try to do that to any other sheep, and you will not get away with it. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I want a photo the of the lamb. The I've got loads. What, loads. dressed up? I'm pick, picking it up, yeah. We, we were thinking the other day that I've, I've eyed up a mermaid outfit and I was thinking she could be, she could be a murmur lamb a or murmur something. Lamb. A murmur lamb. murmur lamb. Yeah, would that work? Yes, murmur lamb. A lamb a maid. Yeah, a murmur lamb. Murmur I'd say lamb. Murmur I like murmur lamb. I think murmur lamb. Yeah, Katie the murmur lamb. Uh, now we're yeah. going to give to you. Never a dull moment on jewellery maker, folks. I'm going to give you a little reminder of our first star buy. I love that. It, it reminds oh. me of a painting. What is it? Which it, it, painting? It, 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 it looks know. like a Klimt, a Gustav oh, Klimt or Gustav a Jackson Klimt. Pollock or a, oh. a Cy Twombly or somebody oh. like that. Just showing you a little bit of my modern art. You are so there. cultured, it's ridiculous. Oh, what can I say? Look at those colours. They're beautiful. Oh. Only been on once before. I really, I, I like this a lot. I love that. Do you remember they used to make soaps which were a bit like that, where they were like mosaic soaps? Yes, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. I think they probably, do you know, the soap movement is coming back, what is was it? all waste and all of I that. I love that. You used to actually, you used to collect all your little bits of soap too. You just had this push thing. push them together. Push them together and have a little <laughs> a soap mould That's thing. right, we should all have that. Oh, I think we? we should, yeah. yeah. Um, now, Super. we're going to give you some gorgeous obsidian. Look at this. I love these, 12 mm. millimetres, and you get a real chatoyancy with these. Have a look. You've got, so this is silver yeah. obsidian, mm. which I think I have, I don't see as much as golden obsidian, you know, so yeah. it's really lovely to see because you've got a real twinkle there. You can see it traveling, can't you? Almost reminds you of sort of cat's eye, eagle yes. eye, uh, but you've got the depth of the black there, so it's quite nice and dramatic but too. I think this could be masculine if you wanted it to be. It's very, tasteful I would say mm. it's that elegance that you get with sort of silver rather than definite black or definite white or definite uh -huh. other yes. Just, there's a certain elegance this is what my my mother used to call slate gray or clergyman gray darling oh clergyman darling clergyman gray rather yes. now Always you've got darling. you can see that <laughs> traveling you can see that color you can see that depth and you've got a 
big 12 mil round here. So one will be sufficient to make a, quite a big yes. impact on your jewelry. And I think if you, if you wanted to do that, you could make it into a pendant. Or, you know, we've been, a lot at the moment, we've been talking about chunky necklaces, just taking these straight up to the neckline, yes. popping a clasp on them, maybe knotting them. Oh, they sold out. Do you know, sold out. I actually have a thought with that, looking yeah. at that very fine micro-faceted. Can you imagine putting one of those on they're, the micro-faceted chain? They're gorgeous. <gasps> oh, there's a serious treat coming up in a little while. Thanks. Now I'll tell me that number there. again, Ross, please. Um, do, do, do. Sorry, sorry, we got Snowflake Obsidian. Oh, now, as beautiful. I understand it, Snowflake, yeah. now I could be wrong, but I, no, I think I'm right. Snowflake obsidian is formed when there's a volcanic eruption yeah. and then the ash rains down Ooh. like little snowflakes. Yeah. Each piece is individual, like a snowflake, and it settles on Ooh. the surface of the hot Ooh. lava. Oh, wow. So every single piece is totally unique. Wow. And it is like almost like a flurry of snowflakes coming down, but of course it's ash. So each piece has been formed wow. due to the fact that there's been a volcanic eruption. And if you're, Amazing. it is quite interesting. I find, but I mean, volcanoes are crazy, aren't they? Yeah. Really interesting. I used to be obsessed with like Pompeii and things. Yes, I want to yes, go yes. there so bad. Um, the Pompeii of gemstones. I think this. I was gives in you... up Pompeii. Were you? Yeah, I was in up Pompeii. Who were you in up Pompeii? Oh, I played. I played a maiden in up Pompeii, didn't I? I did not know that. Will no, I see this go. on the tube oh, of you I if I look no, it up? The, the tube that is me, possibly. I don't know which one, and they made an awful lot of them. Wow. I know. My claim to fame, eh? There we go. I love this. I just think it's so unique and so beautiful, and I love these little snowflakes. And I also love the fact that every single one is unique. Yeah, it is. Look at the graduation on these. You've beautiful. got quite a dramatic graduation, which I like, because then that means we have a suite of jewellery. Yeah. These could be earrings. These could be going in tassels as well. You know, you could have yeah. quite a lot of them in a bubble yeah. bracelet, maybe. Moving down towards the thicker ones, again, these could be a bracelet, but they could also go into a necklace. If you wanted to make a three-piece, yeah. uh, you know, a trio, yes. you absolutely could because the graduations will utterly allow you to do that uh, and in giving yourself the graduations you give yourself a point of difference from the ears to the neckline Indeed. to the wrist i think it works really nicely beautiful q j k z 87 sorry i talked over the top no, of the don't idea worry. it's absolutely beautiful though i'm loving it and for five pounds and 95 pence you can't <laughs> argue it can you you really can't gosh <laughs> somebody would think you'd absolutely spend a fortune on them if you gave them a necklace and earrings and a bracelet made in that. Yeah. Just use a little bit of extra silver chain around the back mm -hmm. and you've got that fabulous trio of jewellery. Yeah, definitely. I, I really like this a lot. QJKZ87, so do you. Lots of you buying, lots of you shopping. Oh, are you Christmas shopping? So, yeah, between 5 and 10, so you've got a really decent graduation on these. You've got 44 centimetres on the strand. Now, we know the average strand here is about 38 centimetres. Actually, I'd say 38 centimetres is a nice long strand, isn't it? It's a decent yeah. long strand. But so 44 centimetres over the average. Yeah. Over the average at £5.95. Uh, so there's nothing average about this strand. Now, let me just show you something that's coming up in a little while. Oh. Because oh. uh, I know a certain person keeps looking at these. It's winking at me in the corner over there. It's a triple oh, must-have today. It's coming up at 8 o'clock uh, tonight. Oh. All three going under £10. Pounds. Look wow. at the sparkle. Wouldn't they go well? Wouldn't they spread a these spaces. out even longer? OMG. These are a must-have. So if you get this, you've got to get that. As the man in the window advert said, if you get this, you've got to get that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you buy one. You buy one, you get one free. <laughs> Dear me. Now, do you know what? Go on. I think it's star by time. <gasps> star by o'clock. Okay, so we are very slightly obsessed with this strand. Now, Kleshner oh. um, showed us earlier about a stitch that will literally be able to encase any kind of shape, any kind of size. Yes. Wouldn't these be gorgeous? Because actually, I can see a face in this one. Can you see it? Oh, Look. I can, yes. And he's got a hand like he's about to pray. Do you know, it looks like a Spanish flamenco dancer. It does? 
Okay, I'm showing I'm showing Clashy this one. Oh, I love him with a moustache. Has he got a moustache? Well, mine hasn't, but yours might have. Oh, I see where you're coming from. Do you see from? what I mean? So you can see, isn't it lovely? Yeah, it's this one here. It's called Flavio or... Um, Enrique. Enrique. See, I can't it's see... Got, now, I'll tell you why there's a the, moustache, because I can, from where I'm sitting, it looks like it. Oh, I see, the red there. Yeah. See, that to me was lips. Ah. But listen, you see what you want to see in your gemstones. That's oh, the beauty of it. It's like reading tea leaves, isn't it? Fabulous. And I <laughs> promise you the shape-shifting bezel. Aha, uh -huh, it will work with this. It will work with that. So let's talk about these in rings. Let's oh. talk about these in cufflinks. Let's talk about injecting colour into our pieces. Oh. And they sit really nice and flat against the skin. I think these will work really well Fabulous. with wire work. Yes. I think you can bead around these. Yep. I think you can pearl knot around these. Yes. You can use these in stretchies. Again, like I was saying, cufflinks. This is definitely a strand of opportunity when we're thinking about using, maybe you're, you've been jewelry making for a couple of months and you're looking to broaden your horizons when it comes to shapes and sizes. You've been sticking to a round, like we all stick to probably an eight or 12 mil round when we first start, don't we? Absolutely. I think then using this kind of oval shape, they're very easy to handle. They don't, you, you know, a round is a great and it's easy, but actually ovals are really lovely because they, they have that lovely flat surface. So if you did want to try a bit of wire wrapping for the first time or you didn't want to go you know go go mad you just want to put a little swirl over the top perfect but then you've got opportunity to take it, it further I think you could make a lot with these and I think you can really mm. rely on the color as well I think the antique bronze wire will go really nicely with these the gold wire will go beautifully the silver wire actually you've got a strand here um, I, that I think will take on most other colors in, in your metals because there's so many colors within this strand and also, I mean, to be honest with you, you the, the nice thing about this being cut as ovals is it makes the most of the benefits of that particular type of stone. So mm -hmm. it's very clever that they've cut this in flat ovals because you on that fascia, you get all this multiplicity of colour. Whereas Definitely. if they'd done it in a round, it wouldn't be quite as scrummy, I think. Well, it's like a, it is like a big slice, yeah, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's like it? a slice of colour, isn't it? Gorgeous. £7.95. pence, um, And celebrate those colours. Have a look at them. See what's in your cord drawer. Bring out the cords that are yes. similar colours to this. Macrame with these. Do decorative macrame with yes. these, maybe. There's such, a, there's such an opportunity for you to really play and try new skills, try new things when you've got a shape and a size like this. It's a good size. It's not too fiddly. So if you're trying something for the first time, it's not going to be pinging out of no, no, sides. No, no. You know, it's quite a friendly shape and size. I mean, it is. you know, move towards your beading slowly if you want to start seed beading, perhaps. I yep. mean, some people are, are gun ho and go straight in and try things, you know. Uh, but, it, but if you want to familiarise yourself with different with shapes, that. I mean, you know, there's some bright orange with it got some gorgeous bright orange so I'm going to give them a count because I think if you do want to make pairs of earrings pairs of cufflinks oh, you want to amazing. know how many um, but Best then you've gold. got gold and gold will work really nicely the green on there this one yes oh now this that, little thing this that little thing but Coming up clusters of that in between each gorgeous. bead would look fabulous wouldn't it Jasper and Garnet, Ooh. absolutely. Now, Joan's got two of these. Uh, she knows what she wants. Uh, we've got Rosemary, Susan, Margaret, Maria, Deborah, Ree, Emma, Christine. Lots of you there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. 24 on my... Uh, so that's 12, 12 um, pairs of something, isn't wow. it? Wow, absolutely. 33 pence a pair, did you say? Per stone, so 66 pence per pair. Brilliant. Love it. Uh, and so 66 pounds. So that means if you've made a pair of cufflinks and you charge 10 pounds for them, I think we can surely Ooh. say that you're going to make a bit of a profit on that. I think I'd you say. can make quite a lot of profit on this I think strand, so too. Actually. Which is always a, a, a good thing, hey? Beautiful. Especially when we, and, and I think with these, they're such a lovely colour, it's, it's ready for the awakening of spring. So Absolutely. you've done your Christmas and winter jewellery, you're thinking about spring fairs. After Christmas, this is a perfect strand to get yourself into that springtime mood. I've just had an idea too, because I know tomorrow, we, we, were, we were talking about the show tomorrow, we've got our ring weaver on. Yes, we I have, invent yeah. it, and we got multiple coloured little baby spools. So you make a ring on the ring weaver and just put one of those on it. OMG, that would look beautiful. Perfect. <gasps> and it could be that centre yeah, stone then. Yeah, yeah? absolutely Perfect. fabulous. 
Love it. The Zabarai garnet that we just showed you is coming out at seven o'clock. Now let's pop that in this. We've got another star by this hour, which is the Woodland Jasper. Oh, it's the Rondells, oh, oh, not yeah. the Rounds, isn't it? I love, love Woodland those. Jasper. But isn't that lovely? Isn't that beautiful? They're like I do just want to put it in a bracelet. Of love. Yes, I agree with you wholeheartedly. Oh, and I'd like to put rose gold jump rings in between it too. Mm -hmm. They're gorgeous, aren't, aren't they? they? Beautiful. Really like Loving that. the colours on this. The subtlety of colour on this is absolutely divine. They're coming up soon and uh, just yeah, really early, they're going to be a great price for you. Now, let's crack on. And uh, we're so going excited. to give to you now. Now, you're going to like these because I know you like a smaller oh, bead. But beautiful. let's have a look because you've got... So I want to show you this. You've got loads and loads of scope here because... Wow. We have the four look mil. Look at all of those four mils. There's brilliant. hundreds of them. There's loads of them. So Tons. you could really go to town with some tassel earrings, really sort of chandelier yeah, yeah, style. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's have a look at these. <gasps> and actually, look, this is in my first kit. Lovely. Imagine doing tassels with this beautiful Perfect. metallic 15 0 bead. Perfect. But guess what? Ooh. I'm going to flip this over <gasps> because look, you've got a much lot. Look at the size and the depth of that colour. Beautiful. So again, suites of jewellery or different styles of jewellery can be made from the one strand. Here, you've got an area that could go straight into a necklace. You could take these Fair. three here and make a real showcase piece, then keep these. Then you could bead weave, perhaps, yes. with, with your the smaller. Four yeah. yeah, with the four mills, you could do right angle weave, herringbone. In fact, most of the seed bead stitches you can do with four mills. Mm -hmm. And I love them for that reason. You know, imagine having um, gemstones to do your beading with. Exactly. Beautiful. What a benefit. What a boon. I think when you first start um, getting used to us here at Jewelry Maker to get your supplies, because these aren't things that you should get used to. You go into a bead shop, oh. it, it's, it's very unlikely you'll find things like this. You go into that big craft store that runs with Bobby Shaft, I think it's very unlikely that you'll oh. find genuine gemstones well, in there, and, and once in a blue moon. And if you do, you'll pay through the nose. They're going to pay through the nose. Seriously, I, I often say, actually, Jenny, that when I first came here, I've been here for about three years now, and I looked at the prices of things here. I wished that I had known about it prior to that when a I was in the business. A lot of people say this. Oh, a lot of people say this. Goodness gracious me! I think it's me, sold out. Did. Goodness me, we're there yapping away, and it's sold out. Yeah. Okay, Ross, let's continue on. I tell you what, we'll stay on 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 the same wow. platform. But look at these. So Those these are fab. They're great big pieces Ooh. of gorgeous amethyst. Um, oh. Such a history behind this incredible gemstone. And I think it's one of the popular, well-known, semi-precious gemstones. We see certain gemstones. Unless you're into gemstones, you wouldn't know what a snowflake obsidian was. Let's sure. say. However. Amethyst, I think, is in most people's, yes. they know. Yes, everyone has heard of an amethyst. And that's, I suppose, in many ways, what makes it such a nice stone to work with mm -hmm. is, you know, if you put amethyst out on your stall, if you're selling, that is, then most people are going to know what an amethyst is. Agreed. Yeah. I think it's mentioned in the Bible. Wasn't it one of the stones in the plate of our... In, it's, it's definitely mentioned in the Bible. I wouldn't be at all surprised. It's also given its name, actually. Ameth is anti-alcohol. So it's um, so it's actually worn by men of the cloth because it's said to um, stop them from getting intoxicated, which of How course they can't. Interesting. Yeah, Ooh. I'm not sure if it works. Should we try it? Shall we try it? Ooh. But most you'll see most priests out there will have an amethyst ring. How fascinating! I is say that? men of the cloth because traditionally, of course, women of the cloth too now. Yes, uh, yes. Purple is the colour of what? Sorry. Yeah, it's an important colour in Catholicism, yeah. It's, you wear it, purple when you come back from Lent, yeah. It's also a very regal colour, isn't it? If you think about very rich. Uh, the, the robes of most royal families. Uh -huh. Henry VIII can often, a painting, can often be seen, paintings of Henry VIII can often be seen in rich greens or rich purples. Yes. And that's because yeah. um, the colour of the dye to dye something purple or green used to be the most expensive, so it would show say, off. It would show off well. I was just going to say it was one of the most expensive. I know this because I went and did a course on natural dyes, and you uh -huh. learn all about things like that. You learn about the colour of blue also. Mm -hmm. You weren't allowed to be within five miles of the palaces because of the catalyst to make the colour hold 
was something really unpleasant. Oh. Mm, and it smelt. Something yellow and unpleasant comes oh. out of our bodies, yes. Oh. So it was very whiffy. So they weren't That's allowed like leather. To... They used to tan leather, yeah. that, but with the other yeah. horrible thing. Yeah, but you weren't allowed to therefore die with that. And I think the purple came from some sea animal. And that's oh, how. Did it? Yeah, because there are, there are, um, God, I'm not into my shells so much. My first collection was made with shells, but there's something called a lilac batisia shell. And it's that colour because where it comes from. Wow. So, like the manga made of pot, potash is purple. Wow. So, they used to dye things with that. Thank you, Kleshi. That's right. Just completely new. weird information. No. It's the old things if that stay in your mind, though. Information, isn't it? any information is good information. Old yeah, things stay I always in your remember mind. why a giraffe has got a black tongue. Go on. Because it protects it from the sun when it's going to get the, because their tongues are always out to get the uh, leaves. Oh, yeah. So they have a black tongue because it uh, prevents it from getting burnt. By How the sun. fascinating is that? You can't have a black tongue, Leah. Okay, just put your tongue away. Now, <laughs> here we go. We got graduated um, amethyst this time, so we can stay. On, on our little uh, road Annie. to Amethyst that we're going to. Hey. Um, so it's said to be the gemstone of tranquility, if yep. you believe in that kind of thing. It's a gemstone that is absolutely saturated in, in myths and beliefs yeah. and uh, crystal healing properties and energies. Ooh. If you believe in that kind of thing, I'm not saying it's true, I'm not saying it's not true. I think this goes very well with citrine. I love that combination. Of course, we know ametrine as well. Uh, five pounds and ninety-five pence. That rich, beautiful purple. Isn't it a joy to work with genuine gemstones when we're making jewelry? Didn't you think when you started your um, jewelry making journey, your crafty journey, uh, didn't you think something like this would be absolutely out of your reach for the, only agree. for the jewelers? Indeed, and also that the reason it goes with citrine is that purple and yellow are on opposite sides of the colour spectrum. Uh huh. So they. Uh, you they, know, they actually work naturally work beautifully together. They're and gorgeous. when I first came here, I, I learned about ametrine. I never knew there was such a thing. I thought, oh, isn't it amazing that kind of God or whatever you believe in has created such an yeah. extraordinary thing? Yes, yeah, it is, yes. Amazing. I think the earth is full of absolute mysteries and wonders, and, I agree and with amethyst you. is one of those. Yeah. And I think, uh, and actually, I believe in things when it comes to gems. So I believe in things that are natural and earthy. And I think some, somewhere along the line, we as human beings have lost touch with Mother Nature and the earth and what the earth gives us and why the earth gives us that and how we can tell certain things. This is just my belief. Honestly, I promise you, you don't have to believe what I believe. This is just what I believe. YTV X27, beautiful example of amethyst here. And in rondelles, let's put it in jewellery and put maybe some jump rings in between in a bracelet. I'm in a real bracelet mood today. I don't know if you can no, tell. I can't, um, but can't I think that. these will work in many ways. They're sold out and gone. Well done to everybody that got those. Let's give you another little reminder of those rondelles because we just saw some rondelles. And again, I know I said, I, I just want to make that, that into bracelets. But when you've got a rondelle like this, I think you could face it upwards, put a ball head pin in it oh, and yes. bring it towards. So it could make quite a lot of different styles. We could do bubble style with this. It could be um, maybe nestled in between um, a pearl or something yes. like that in a, in a real big feature piece in a necklace. Yes. But doesn't it look great just like that, doesn't it? It does, it does. Do you know I'd use rose gold seed beads in between that? That'd be lovely. Or, or sort of, you know, the Jura, um, Jura, seed, beads. Jura yeah. beads, yes. I think they look fabulous in that. Me too. Well, mm. it's coming up in a bit, so we'll have a good old discussion. Mm, mm, we'll have mm. a good old mm, chewing mm, of fat mm. over that one. Next up, uh, chewing of fat. That's a horrible phrase, isn't it? Um, oh, I love these. Oh, talking so, about rose gold. And, and talking about seed beads because <gasps> we can seed beads straight onto these. So we've got grips for you, hair grips. Now, we're calling them hair grips, but you could put these on a hat and it is hat season. Um, and we're seeing a lot of beautiful hats out there at the moment. You know, with all the feathers, you might see the partridge feathers and things off them. Now, notice this. You've got a wonderful area here that you can seed bead into, that you could polymer clay into. Um, it's got some purchase onto it. So think about how you can utilize that. You could obviously pop some um, pop some kind of jewelry making glue on there, maybe your ETH um, 6000 or something like that. And you could use something, a, a gemstone with a flat surface. You could have maybe a small agate or something on there. Aren't they lovely, Clash? They are. They're, these are called a sieve back. Uh -huh. um, 
fi finding, and that's because they look like a sieve. Okay. Basically, yes. and they used to make sieve backs for brooches. I've never ever seen a sieve back hair clip. Isn't it lovely? Now, if I get a chance, I'll make you some little sieve back um, hair clips. You can have one either side. Oh yes, please. Yay! These are only four ninety five, and you're getting a ten pack, so that's forty nine pence ten. each. Ten of them. Well, that 50 pence because 49 and a half and we don't have half pence anymore. That is brilliant. Isn't it? Isn't really, it brilliant? Really, really good. I, I think, think bridesmaids fab. could use these. I think you could use this to put the veil into um, into the hair as well. But it It is so easy to work a sieve back. I have to tell you, it's just like bonkers. Um, just so even a beginner can, can honestly, use something like this? Honestly, really, yeah, I, I don't know how much time we've got. Well, i tell you what, you carry on. We've got I'll... all night, darling. Oh, we've got all night. £4.95, big lover of those in, the, in that rose gold. I, I just think they look that. so pretty, I don't I love they? rose gold anything, though. Me I'm too. A just... We've got them in an antique coloured next. Now, these are very... Uh, only three left of the... Oh, no, not anymore. Uh, I just said that and then I saw everybody oh, suddenly oh, going oh, wild. Oh, oh, it's all gone. What a lovely colour these are. And I think probably if you're having a vintage wedding or something, this oh, with a vintage rose colour would look beautiful. Have a look. These are gorgeous. I think Should, they're both gorgeous. These are very, very nicely plated and finished, if I might say so. And um, you know what? They are. And look, the grip is really strong. So you know sometimes you'll get a, a, a flimsy hair grip. I do. This is very strong, very robust. And the other thing I like about these is it's not got a nasty end at the grip. You know... In the old days, they used to put like a little dob of glue on the end of the Kirby yeah, grips to yeah. stop it scratching. These, to me, don't look like they're scratchy grips at all. No, they're not. They don't look it, do they're they? They're really rather nice. And they're only four ninety five again for a pack of ten. Ten. LGQJ34. I've not seen these ones before. Well, I've I got haven't, a few of the other ones. And I thought I'd seen everything, so there you go. Well, if I haven't seen it... Um, and... and Clash is constantly uh, going through our you, stock, let me tell I, you. Uh, and I'm constantly, <laughs> well, I'm also constantly looking for innovation and new things and different things. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, isn't it? You've got to keep it fresh, especially if you're selling your pieces on. You've got to keep it fresh, but you've also got to give your customers their favourites. Absolutely. So it's quite a hard thing to do because you've got to... Give your customers their favourite style of thing, but in a different style so that they don't get bored. But yeah. you've also got to give, keep it fresh and keep introducing new things. So it, it's a difficult game as a jewellery designer, isn't it? It is, but fun. Now, this is a fun strand, talking of fun, because you've got a different variation of sizes. You've Ooh. got a different finish. Like this one in this, just that I've got here looks like a cabochon. Doesn't it? This one here, all domed. Then next to it, there's a lovely flat one. Then you've got these little pebbles here. You've got different shapes, different sizes. This gives you a real organic feel. Beautiful. <gasps> 3 95 oh, This is genuine tiger's you're eye. You're spoiling us, Ross. This is, if you listen, if you make jewellery to sell on, you must get this, I think, because I think uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great way of being able to um, take advantage of our prices. Look, this is a trade price, I think. In fact, I think you'd struggle if you wanted to get a tiger's eye. I think you'd have to buy hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of strands from afar oh, just you, to get this kind of price I, per... I can tell you, you most definitely would. I mean, unless you want to go over to South Africa, pick the strands yourself and, and buy a thousand of them or 500 of them. And then that would make them three. I mean, this is this is brilliant. We're passing on our savings to you here. IRP 030 is your item code. Thank you so much for shopping with us here at Jury Maker. You're going to have to be fast, though, on this one because there are loads of you multi buying. I think, in fact, half of the people that have bought this now are multi-buyers. You need to check out baskets. This one is going to sell out three pounds and 95 pence. Genuine tiger's eye. And again, if you're a believer in um, in, in the ways of gemstones, in, in the spirituality of gemstones, it's worn as a protective talisman. Um, it's, it's one that's said to ward off evil spirits and all of that kind of carry on. So if this is something that you're into, and so many of us are. Indeed, I'm afraid I am, I am I'm, as well. I'm a believer. Yes, I know. I normally, in fact, I've got somewhere outside my big fat book that tells you all these weird things. Oh, I love things. that book. Yeah, oh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll grab it and I'll I next love break the book. Then. The book is so cool. So yeah. Clash has this big, great big book. It's like a gemstone Bible of spirituality. That's yeah. what I'm going to call it. Yeah. I want to bring out a gemstone Bible of spirituality. I think we should do that. What oh, do you reckon? That'd be brilliant. It'd be amazing, Absolutely wouldn't it? Absolutely amazing. And then maybe we could go to spiritual Ooh. retreats and just check that, um, you know. Mm, um, bah. Um. I'm a bliss. 
I think Ooh, we should do that. What do you good reckon? idea. Let's go for it. And uh, please don't think we're pushing our beliefs onto anybody. No. These are just personal beliefs and not uh, absolutely not telling you that this is what you have to believe. Ooh. Now, these gorgeous pebbles, these are going under £10 for the two because everything in this no. hour is under £10. This is such a great colour and apparently the world's favourite colour. I'm yes. thinking tropical seas. You've just come back from Barbados, uh -huh. lady. And... Uh, uh -huh. Wow, beautiful, look at these colours. Beautiful colours. See the um, flying fish already. I can. In fact, actually, you know, you can't get a flying fish in Barbados for love nor money. Not at the moment you can't, can no, you? No, because they've all flown somewhere else. Well, something's happened to the sea at the... My That's friend, correct. My best friend's husband is, is Bayesian and uh, they go out there a lot and his mum comes over a lot. Yeah. And well, my friends that I was with kept on saying, oh, have you got any flying fish? Everywhere we went to eat, got any flying fish? No. No. They said, no, no one's got any. It's Tastes unbelievable. delicious. You're Correct. not allowed to use, have it anymore. No. It's not enough of the darling things now. Bless them. Let's have a look because we've got striking colour. Yeah. We've got definitely a colour that can carry itself throughout every single season, can't it? Oh, this gosh, could be yes. frosty in the winter. Yep. It could be fun and fruity and yes. zesty when you put it with oranges and pinks in the summer. Yep. 9 95 for the both. No. Now, this is Agate, and we're talking about a lot of Agate out there at the moment. I was telling you about a certain shopping channel, lovely shopping channel that begins with Q. I think you might know it. I shop on there a lot for my uh, makeup. I think it's great. There's an Agate. There's a, a jeweler on there that um, sells specific Agate pieces uh, under her brand. She's wonderful. I think she's from London. Uh, average price for a necklace, about £79 for Agate. Usually about three Ooh. or four pieces. Yep. But that's great because it makes me sh see... Agate is a highly regarded gem. So these pieces that she brings to air sell out time and time and time again. Yeah. And they're no different to anything you could make at home. The only difference... Now, the puffy coins on their own should be 8 95 So you're getting the rounds for a pound. Rounds for a pound. Round a pound. MGX, C84, £9.95. So you've got the coins, you've got the rounds. And again, you, masculine jewellery, feminine jewellery. You can make cufflinks out of the coins really easily. Well, actually, and out of the rounds really easily. It's so easy to make out of rounds, isn't it? And I'm, I'm also loving these little sort of flat... Things. They remind me of a, of a sweetie, a uh, certain multicoloured chocolate bean sweetie. Oh, you're such a smarty. I am. Nine ninety five. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> well, I also get my little box. Jewelry out for makers that. version of Ant and Deck. Me and me and thee. Yeah. <laughs> <And> <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? Get my little box. <laughs> you've actually got because you because you've got so many one liners. You have yeah, to have boom, that. Boom, yeah. boom, ching. <laughs> <laughs> NGX, that's C84. Lots of you in for this one. Verna, you've got two. Muriel, Claire, Maria, Pam, Fiona. Uh, let's get Fiona, Fiona. Um, Fiona, Fiona. Oh, I love fluorite. Oh, it's, we've got fluorite in my kit. You I have. love fluorite too. So it glows. You'll be wearing fluorite and you'll forget it glows and you'll be like, oh, oh. Oh, I look know. what I'm doing. And it's just incredible. In UV light and in candle, it just glows. So the word fluorescent, I, I think, comes from the word fluorite. Probably. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, now, you've got here my favourite colour in all of the fluorites. I know that you Love get purple it. and probably a lot of you um, do have a big adoration for the purple. But my favourite is the green because I feel like when I wear it, it glows the most. I oh, love wow. this gemstone. I think it's so powerful. It is a lovely, lovely, subtle, very gentle green, isn't mm. it? That very subtle green. But the facets just make it dance. And, and again, I really like how this has been stranded like this. And I'd love to wear it as a necklace, just quite simply like, like it is now. I'd probably restrand it and put some real, um, sterling silver in between it with the st sterling silver balls. Or maybe I'm going to put some... Mm. Maybe I'm going to put some, like, bugle beads or something in between Ooh, it. yes. These are really pretty. Don't you think? I do. Don't you love that inner glow? When you wear this, honestly, you'll never know the joy that fluorite can bring you until you wear it. And then you won't want to take it off because it gives you that. Oh, and, and I love that when you've got a piece of jewellery on. Uh, sometimes you can forget you've got that piece of jewellery on. Yeah. You don't forget when you've got fluorite. If it's in a position where you can see it, you won't forget it. You simply won't. Seven ninety five is such a tiny price tag for a, a strand like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on your strand. Now, we can pair these up, actually. These two are the same size. These two are the same size. You've got an individual one there. Beautiful. Rings, 
pendants. I'd love to see this in a ring. Alison Terry just bought out a ring DVD as well, so that would be really great to go oh, with she's that. She's a star bar. It's beautiful. That is just stunning. I love it. Beautiful, it's isn't it? Sold out. Has it? It sure has. Now, I think... I'm not surprised. Is it star by a clock, Ross? Not yet. One oh. more. One more. Not yet. I jumped ahead of my guns. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, but we have got stars, so, you know... Oh, I love a star. Me too. What, what is it about stars? popular things. I think because stars always signify um, good weather, the star at night, um, Luck, the nativity, lucky star. lucky star, lucky seven. Just there's so many good connotations that go with a star, isn't there? Yeah, I think so. This is gorgeous. And what a pretty one that is. And it's is. sterling silver. So I think you would just want to put this straight onto a sterling silver chain. Do you think? I do. I agree. Uh, no messing with that. I mean, I suppose you could put a little dangle from the bottom of it. But, do you know, sometimes it's, it's a really good thing in life to keep it simple, isn't it? When you've got Agreed. something that beautiful. And then it can become a piece of jewellery every day. Look, I don't think there's much you can buy out there. Look at the thickness here. Let's just think about this. Three pounds and 95 pence you sell that on as a sterling silver charm a jump ring and a bolt ring clasp in sterling silver we're talking 15 pounds per charm otherwise you're underselling yourself we're giving you the saving we are giving you the saving because we bought these in in a, in a high quantity we're giving you the price that that then worked i mean this is incredible incredible value you've got sterling silver you go to any high street out there and see this on a chain and you are paying a premium you're not here this would be great on an anklet great on an ear on an earring buy two of these and make sterling silver earrings with stars well, that price you can absolutely 3.95 for sterling silver Fabulous. and where else are you going to get your sterling silver from let's have a think about it because I think it is quite a you know I think we can get quite complacent about shopping here at Jewelry Maker I think we can get quite um quite used to the prices but if 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 you couldn't reach us for whatever reason you had to go out and you had to source maybe you go to the um to the jewelry quarter in Birmingham um, you'd pay a lot more a lot more than oh, 395 uh, you know even actually even in Hatton Garden at some of the places that I used to go to shop um you would pay a lot more for that uh -huh. at wholesale. Yeah. Because of the weight. So a lot of the charms and things in Hatton Carden are sold by weight. And so they, they go on the gram weight of that day. Honestly, Oh, yes, it, it fluctuates, you, it doesn't fluctuates, it? Yeah, correct. you never know from one day to the other. Well, today we're giving you this for 3 95 If you go abroad and you buy these in bulk, you can see this is stamped 925 silver so many times. People come back to us, customers, jewellery makers come back to us and say that you shopped abroad and you shopped in bulk and it came back and it wasn't real silver. It's a, it's a thing that, um, that unfortunately happens. Perhaps it's a language, language barrier, I'm not sure. Here, we can promise you that if we say it's sterling silver, it is. it's sterling silver. <laughs> Everything is tested twice when it comes through the door wow. here. Uh, now it's star by o'clock. Let's have a good Yay. old look at that uh, wonderful woodland jasper. really autumnal so today this morning I went for a walk with the dog yeah. and all the leaves were down and I was kicking oh, up the leaves yeah, and I didn't have my phone on on me and I was really glad because I could really was looking around me thinking this is so beautiful these colors are incredible the maple leaves are on the oh, floor it's so beautiful. The horse chest, yeah honestly it's beautiful it, it's such a pretty season isn't it autumn and I think actually this this strand does signify the colours of a great British autumn. I think it's stunning. The greens, the brick reds, those fabulous maple leaf yellows. You know the turning of the leaves? We I get do. the yellows, we get the browns, we get the, the reds, oranges, yeah. we get the oranges. It's just such a lovely strand. And I think, wow, what an appropriate time to be bringing this to you because this is the time you want to wear these colors with your chunky knits and your scarfs and your boots stamping your feet in the cold, isn't it? It's that kind of feeling. It's mulled wine season. It's hot oh, chocolate oh, season. Mulled wine, and it's yum. definitely a season for this kind of color. 
I love it. I think um, if you if you're one that loves the countryside and yeah. loves earthy tones, then this really is a fantastic strand for you. Woodland Jasper is. I mean, again, I think most people have heard of Jasper. Yes. It's one of the popular ones that people know about, isn't it? It is. It's a mainstream gemstone. Yeah. You've got the, all of this for under ten pounds, and I think the, the temptation for us, Clash, was to put this in a bracelet, put some jump rings in between it, yeah. and maybe have a few little charms hanging from it. But just enjoy these gemstones for what they are, for the colour, for the formation, for the for that confetti of colour. a pattern that they're giving us. Yeah, but it's, it's not just that. Each one, actually, if you look, it's unique. like a flurry inside. It is. It's got that sort of light, sort of spackling, almost, yeah. almost like someone's stood there with a little spackling gun and sort of changed the colours of them, isn't it? Mother Nature really is incredible. Isn't and, it and just? Yeah, and you just... I think, again, not forgetting that you can put a, a head pin through these and have them almost like saucers if I just... Uh, because these have a, a great face to them. And you could make um, bubble style you with could. that. You could do beady beads with that. You yes. could make... You, you, you could really make shaky tassels with this. I think it's fabulous. You could also um, use, say, a size 11 O seed bead and just... Uh, and, a, and a metallic Duracoat colour and get two needles and cross weave in between each Ooh, one lovely. so that you would have it like that, basically. Sorry, for want of a better way of putting it. But so put them side by side like yes, that? Yes, like side by side. And that bit and that bit would be beaded. And then you go through the middle hole like that with your two needles. Yeah. And then you go into the next one or you go through the middle one in between and okay. like that. So and do it like that and yeah, then they yeah, come yeah, out in yeah. a strip? You yeah, do it like correct. that? Perfect. There's Beautiful. so many. And you know what? So wearable. Oh. I mean, you can wear this every day. You can wear this kind of uh, colourway to do the school run, to do your, sh your shopping, but then you can wear it out at night time too. Love it. You could wear it with a chunky jumper dress Ooh, and boots yes. and maybe a lovely furry gilet. Yes. And, you know, it, it would look lovely, wouldn't it? It's, it's a cosy looking strand. IHG P87, 190 carats of Woodland Jasper. Uh, lots of you are there. You need to check out your baskets though. Absolutely. Let's give you one more under five very quickly before the end of the hour. Ooh. And we, we, we've been talking about texture, we've been talking about air gate, and this is um, a really oh. fabulous strand. And it's one that um, actually, strands like this have been with us right from the beginning of Jewelry Maker because I think these kinds of strands are the ones that jewelry makers love because this is the kind of jewelry that you cannot find on the high street. Yes. When you want chunky, when you want those fabulous sort of artistic colors, mm. you've got some real stripes in here. You've got some fabulous formation. It almost looks like the crackling there of a tree trunk, or you've got that, you've got the bark or there, snake. or the. I mean, that, yeah. you know, they were doing a feature this morning on, um, I think it was on Lorraine with Mark and Mark, oh, other television Lorraine. channels more available. And it was all about um, animal print. Oh, it's everywhere. So, I mean, wouldn't this look fabulous yeah. with any animal print, mm -hmm. actually? Because it is such, these are sort of supernatural, neutral colours. These uh -huh. are just fabulous. They're gorgeous. <coughs> £3.95. Pence, it's such a low, low price. It's a pocket money price. Imagine £3.95 pence in your hand right now. That's pocket change, isn't it? That's the change that sometimes you find underneath the car seat because... Somebody else has used your car and they or always shove down money the side. in there. <laughs> My other half I always get in his car and he's always got coins and I always I take know. them. <clears throat> and he goes mad. What is Three it with them? They Those always Chuck take coins. them out their pocket, don't they, at yeah. night? Brilliant. <clears throat> well, of course I'm picking them up. I thought they were just chucked there. Yeah. Don't go anywhere. The Zafirite Garnet is coming up after the break. We can't wait to see you and Clash's kids. Yeah. Join designers Gemma and Monica for lots of inspiration and demonstration. Come and join us from 1pm this Thursday for a craft noon. Are you new to Jewellery Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer, and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? 
Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button, fill in the required fields, and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. You can watch our Jewelry Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Did you know that no. garnet came in different forms before you started shopping with us here at Jewelry Maker? Did you I know, No, 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 no. I had no idea. Garnet to me was that sort of ruby red colour. Yeah, like a rouge noir. Correct. Like that, yes, the polish. Yeah. Actually, rouge noir probably isn't that, but I always think of it as the, the channel, you know, mm -mm -mm, polish. The, the large makeup uh, yes, company. Yes, yes, no, yes, exactly. Chanel it's that colour, yeah. And I, but I think that's high street garnet is that Rouge Noir colour. Ah. Because I, I, when I started working for the company that owned Gems, uh, that, it was Gems TV that owned yeah, Jewelry yeah. Maker at the time, it opened up a whole window to me of what Amazing. kind of gemstones were out there against what you actually think is out there to, to the everyday person who sees gemstones in magazines, on yeah. the television or in yeah. the high streets. Yes. Uh, Garnet is just a deep red, yeah. right? Yes, deep sort of blood pigeon red. Well, we were wrong, everybody, because garnet comes, as a lot of us know, but not all of us know, in such a huge variety of colour. We have mandarin garnet. I know. We have this kind of zavarite garnet as well. I love zavarite. Isn't it fabulous? Isn't it beautiful? Zavarite garnet, named by um, named from the mines uh, of which it uh, was founded. This is uh, is it is named after Z Zavorn National Park, isn't it? Um, Zavor National Park, Zavor Zavor. Yeah. Uh, now, it's a rich, rich gemstone. It goes very well with blues, I think. But look at that colour. Look at that colour. 
Beautiful. It's garnet, isn't it? Wonderful that a garnet, discovery garnet. was made and this garnet colour that nobody knew about Amazing. was a thing. Again, Mother Nature working that magic. And I think when you when you have this as, a, as your birth gemstone, so if you're a January baby and you always thought, okay, red, it, my, my gemstone is red, and, and, and suddenly you, you're given this opportunity to have a different yeah. colour in that. It, it's quite fascinating. And I think Unbelievable. when you see this, it's it's got this, it's got this lovely colour. It's got this fabulous sparkle to it. It's got great clarity. It's about strength, this colour, I think. When you look at a strand like this and you know it's garnet, it's strength, it's got it's got all of the promises of garnet, it's got all of those. Look at that, look at look at this, it's vivid, it's strong, it's striking. And in these small nuggets, these little chips, these little tiny, tiny nuggets, and, and when you're weaving it in this way, when you're in fact, when it's been woven in the way it's, it is as it spins around here, think of popping a white pearl here and a white <gasps> pearl there and a chocolate pearl there. Ooh. And think about that mix because it's, it's a regal green. It will take it so well. You've got a decent drill hole on these, despite the fact that these are really teeny and yes. tiny. They could work in a way that a seed bead could work, but instead of giving you a smooth finish, giving you a texture and a striking colour. And knowing that it's a genuine gemstone, yeah, giving yeah, yeah. you that, gives you that certain amount of glee as well, doesn't it? It's true. And would this strand go with absolutely anything that you've had on mm -hmm. so far? Yeah. I mean, it's that jasper that we had earlier, this incredible, um, this is just, yes, that we both, just... Yes, both, all yes, of the, the jasper would work really had well. So far. And, you know, my grandma used to call this... Call green God's own colour. You know, she used well, to... Well, yes, I understand that. You know, that. because of the grass, God's because green of the earth, leaves. Yeah. You know, God's green colour. Ha, 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 ha. She, we, we all used to take the mick out of her because she used to have this wonderful way of going, ha, 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 this is God's own colour, you know, and you just go, ha, 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 ha. And it was always <laughs> Grandma Dee Dee who just said green is just fabulous. It is a traditional colour. It is a colour that we associate with... Uh, with Great Britain and Ireland, isn't it? That luscious True. green. Aren't we lucky though? I mean, you know, because we are, we have this sort of climate where we have a lot of rain and, and, and damp, etc. I know we, we moan and wind and complain about it, but if we didn't have that lovely climate, we wouldn't have all this beautiful greenery, would we? Indeed. You know, when you fly back into England, one of the things you appreciate so much is the colour. Yeah, all We've got that green, green everywhere. everywhere. It's yeah. brilliant. I totally agree with yeah. you. And the same, because when I go, I fly over to see my daughter a lot. It's probably every month I fly to County, I fly to Shannon, and you fly into Shannon and you can see green everywhere. everywhere. You can see the water and the green everywhere. I love it. I think it's great. I think it's fabulous. And I think we're very blessed. Yeah. And I again, agree. look at this. I mean, it's just a gorgeous strand. You can replicate that in your pieces if you wanted to. ANVX 95, 80 carats of Zavarite garnet. Now, this is a previous price. You're not, we're not finishing. We're not closing there. We're going to give you an even better deal. Ooh. It's not 39.95 today. But you're going to have to get on board with this pretty quickly we've got a we've got a handful we're gonna make it so that you are saving more than you're spending don't Ooh. you love it when that happens that's very it's not very often that you can say that is no. it actually how many places can you go into shop and they say oh, excuse me madam you're going to save more than you spend well never i don't think no, hardly don't think ever so. anyway unless it's a one in a million deal an accidental deal uh you don't often see over a half price sale, do you? No. <laughs> well, look at this, twelve ninety five. Is this genuine Zavarite garnet? Yes. Does this fetch a very high price out there in high end jewellery? Yes, yes, yes. Should you pick up the phone? Yes. Should you check out your baskets if you're shopping online? Yes, you need to be quick with this one. Twelve ninety five. Could you sell this on if you were making beautiful jewelry with this? Yes. Big fat. Yes. You need to put this with pearls. I think you could put this with rich red garnet to make Ooh. a real January birthstone piece. This could go on memory wire and you could put this on your Christmas table and keep it for something that comes out every single year. Put it with berry reds. Make almost Ooh. that holly and, and berry piece and put it around a centre candle, a flameless Lovely. candle. Maybe it's going to be jewellery for your home or maybe it's going to be jewellery for you to wear. It is a great Christmas green as well as being able to work with things like citrine and become a real spring piece as well. Because that colour green 
is versatile. You can make it into a summer spring green, but it works so well as a Christmas green as well. And because you've got that wonderful, wonderful texture, think about these going in your tree of life designs because they work very well with nuggets they do. too. They work so well with nuggets. They do. 12 95 think about putting this with deep colored Amethyst, it works really well with purple, green and purple sing together. ANV X95, 80 carats, it's a big carat weight. Um, Elizabeth, you've got two, Barbara's got two, Diana, two for you, Sean has two, Berkshire, two, Annalise, you're shopping, Wendy is shopping with us too, Diana, you've got two, Sheila, you're there too, uh, L in Gloucestershire, hello, uh, Karen in the West Midlands, well, L, I, I remember, texts us in quite often, yeah. and she's from the Forest of Dean, so she'll love oh. Oh. greens because goodness me it's green around it's there it's very gorgeous. very green beautiful 1295 0800 6 4 5 is a free phone number for calling tap the app shop online remember there's a 30 day money back guarantee and also you're even gaining that benefit of having just one pmp all day long fill up your baskets from midnight to midnight each day and pay only 3.95 no matter how much you pop in those baskets it's almost like we want you to become jewelry makers a n v x 95 and we do check out baskets otherwise this one is going to pass you by. Uh, I think pretty much 90% of the people shopping have now got twos and threes in their baskets. We are approaching limited stock on this one, so you are going to have to make sure you check out Baskets Fast. It's gorgeous. It's going to be yours in a matter of days, and it is that perfect injection of green ready for your Christmas, but also ready for your springtime pieces. It's one not to miss out on at that tiny price. Uh, well done on grabbing that star by. Incredible, isn't it? It's so vivid. Look at the look at the greens. I just adore the colour of this. I just think it's 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 mesmeric, really, isn't it? It mesmerises mm. me. It's positively sort of edible. Have you? Ever, I know this sounds completely bonkers, and I know I am bonkers sometimes, but do you know when you see those fresh shoots of grass? Yes. Don't you sit there and think. I, I wish I was a cow, actually, because I'm sure they would taste quite delicious. Delicious spring yeah. grass. Well, it makes yeah. the animals go quite nutty. You know when your horses have had the spring grass? Oh, I bet. They go crazy. Do they? Yeah, they go mad <gasps> on the spring grass, yeah. I'm not surprised, but it looks so it's, yummy, it's, it's, it's got more sugar in it, you ah, see. So the, it so the grass out there now... Right. Even if you've got loads of it en masse, probably got no goodness left in it. So the goodness comes oh, in the spring. That would make sense. It's rather like, well, I was told once by a guy who does um, oh, essential oils. Yeah. That it, like a fine wine, essential oils in some years are better than other years. And I went, well, I'd never thought of it that way. But it's true because if you have, for instance, say chamomile. Yeah. And it's grown in a year where there's lots of sunshine and lots of rain. It has a greater concentration of the things that help than if it's grown in a year where ah. it, it's burnt the leaves, etc., etc. Aha! There, there you go. go. And it depends on what chemicals you are and aren't allowed to use, but because they change that on a yearly basis. Of course. If you've looked and seen that there's loads of fields of poppies where once there was a field of something else, crops, it's because that they haven't been able to use a certain chemical to ah. not allow those things to grow through. So a lot of farmers actually the last couple of years haven't been as rich with their yields um, from the fields, yields from the fields, yields from the um, fields. because like, the law know. keeps changing with different um, chemicals and that. So we have to then import those things that we were growing. It, it, it's logic if you think about it, I suppose, but it isn't because it's not something we think about all the time. It's yeah. fantastic. It, it, uh, but it, again, it goes back to the earth and how we used to grow things and how we can grow them now and how we have to change things because certain bugs are now here that weren't there before. It's a, it's a, we're, we're oh, we could in go into circle. it. Oh, we, we could go have into a whole it. Program in this oh, sort we, of thing. You're not watching Nature Watch with Jenny Cleary and Kleshner. Can you imagine us on that? Oh We'd, my God. <laughs> Wouldn't we have fun? <laughs> <laughs> Knee deep in wellies and mud. Oh, I love it. Now, Kleshy, we've got your kits yes. and they are oh, divine, aren't they? Let's have a look at the jewellery. Um, and we are going to be concentrating on kits in this hour. Um, uh, Kleshner and I do tend to go off on a bit of a, a trail, a scramble occasionally. A little, it's not a trail of destruction though you'll be uh... what, what? look how gorgeous these are I love those cabochons you've been given they're beautiful Aren't they fabulous Stunning. They're, they are these are called checkerboard the pattern on these the checkerboard oh, faceting the checkerboard faceting yes hold on I'm going beautiful. to see if I can I can do something clever. hold out with a beady there we go look isn't that lovely it's gorgeous I mean, this is this is the oh, golden one. Oh, I love one. it! Golden I'm such shadow. a fan of citrine, and I think. 
this is quite close. Now we've got two kits, so we're going to start <gasps> with, but, uh, yes, now, but, oh, let's oh. lift these up because this looks like lemon quartz almost. It is a Swarovski, so you're getting such sparkle. Would you mind holding them up like you did just, but my yeah. ones, oh, not yes, of course. Uh, and showing this everybody is, the Swarovskis that you get because I think they're better off like AB, that. A normal AV Swarovski, look. Look at the impact. Swarovski, of course, market leaders when it comes to crystal because of this. Because Look you have it. got that shabam that comes from not, each and every one. Look They're the market leaders in it. It's like a sort of a boomerang, isn't it? Is. it? And you know, um, Swarovski have given us permission to allow you to make jewellery and sell on, and you can even say... It is. You can't say this is Swarovski jewellery, because Swarovski jewellery has been, has, been, um, has been made by Swarovski, but what you can say is this is handmade jewellery created with Swarovski elements. You are allowed to say that. So you can yep. draw upon that uh, worldwide marketing campaign that is Swarovski for, for your purposes, which I think is wonderful. Let's have a look at the jewelry that this kit has created because you've made some beautiful pieces. And you know, when you get pieces like this, they do take you down certain avenues. What was your first train of thought when you got this kit, Claire? Well, when, when I got the kit, I was looking at it and I, I wanted to see how I could create something that had movement. And, and the, the benefit of, of these is I've made this special seed beaded thing, but as you can see, sorry, I know it's a, forgive me doing this, but do you see what I mean? Beautiful. Both the one in the middle moves and the one at the bottom moves. Oh, I love it. And I think when you have a, 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 a gem or a, a crystal that has this ability to refract light like this, it's really important that you work with it. I, oh, of course, you know, yes. I don't, I don't, want don't cover it up. Don't stop still, it shining. No, yeah. I want it to have movement. Yeah. So I've created this rather unusual um, circle that's big enough to allow and enable that to move. Perfect. Now, I, I doubt that I, I've made three different stages of it so that I can show you as much of it I'm as just going to tell everybody exactly what they're getting Please. in their kit before we go into the demonstration because I think this is going to sell out. So you are getting these beautiful, beautiful pool blue Swarovskis that you could see um, on the drops. You get one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Then you get even your beading thread. So you've got your nylon beading thread in here in gold, beautiful. But then you've got... There's wonderful two big drops of Swarovski uh, that Clash just showed you. It's kind of hard to, um, to hold these up, but oh, here, you did just borrow, get a good... Borrow my... Oh, thank you so borrow much. Borrow doodah, as Thanks for your the doodah, classics. darling. That's all right. Um, again, um, sorry, do, ex do excuse me. I'm just going to pop the doodah through yeah, the there. The doodah, honestly, I'm There we go. You can, okay. Oh, right. You can see them there. Look, but you're also getting seed beads. So you're getting Mayuki seed beads, market leaders, Mayuki. Oh. Why is it important to go Mayuki, Claire? I'll tell you why, because they are fabulously created. They're created with precision. Now, when we're seed beading, we want precision. You know, you're going to use up a lot of your valuable time seed beading. It doesn't happen like that. Uh -huh. You're not wiggling just something around. You are beading you're picking up every single little bead and if you're going to do that and use your precious valuable time work with the best if you buy the cheap um oriental seed beads some will be good some will be one size they might say that they're all 11 o's yeah but, but they're a bit but they're all a little bit out of true mm. and it, it is you know you 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 buy what's that something you buy something buy you buy cheap twice. buy twice yeah buy cheap buy twice and it's the same you'll make some beautiful piece and then the one in the middle will make it all go a bit on the wall yeah if there's if there's a few in there that aren't exactly the same shape and size they're going to ripple your piece it's, and you're going to notice worth it. it it's not worth your time no now uh, by all means if you want to get the cheaper ones and do a mock-up fine yes that's but, a good idea like a 12 like yeah. you would do with a with a piece of you know, clothing. Now have a look. You have got your 11 OC beads and your 8 OC beads, silver line crystal, uh, and you have got your matte silver here. They're gorgeous, aren't they? And then you've got your 15 O's, did you say? Yeah. Oh, the little so ones are small actually, 15s. The, the great thing about this is that you have 
all three of the basic seed beads that we use in anything. Now that is fantastic because that enables you to do things that if you only had one size, you couldn't do. So, you know, when you are working with seed beads, if you have a 15, an 11 and an eight, it means you can graduate things mm -hmm. um, and you can build wonderful walls that expand. You can go in circles like I have here. You can make fabulous bangles. And the basis of this is, uh, was something that I did with a bit of geomet geometric, geometric, clash, not honestly, put your teeth <laughs> back in love, um, geometric beading. And this is what I love about this kit. Now, we get, we, we've got two varieties of kits for you. So oh. we have got the Isle of Paradise, Ooh, which is the very blue exotic. one. But we're going to give you the green and gold in just a sec now. So that's $21.95. I'm going to give you the other one because then I, want, I know that you want to concentrate on the demonstration. So, of course, that's what we will do. I promise. I promise I'll try not to interrupt. Oh, so You're most welcome to do so because sometimes I, I've got my tongue, you know, like uh, this, trying to sort of... <laughs> Put my beads in. Oh, know. yes, because people do do that now. Yes. You've got here, so the same principle. You get the gold beading um, thread, your nylon beading thread. You've got two of the most amazing sort of cognac colours in here. Maybe a little bit more delicate than that, actually. Then you've got, if you have a look down here, you get there's six wonderfully green, spring green. They're almost a peridot green, in fact. Then you I have your Mayuki. They Mayukis. are called peridot, they actually. Do, they do they, replicate fact, that I very well. I know they're called peridot, because ah. I know my Swarovski colours. She colors. knows her Swarovskis. Having worked with them for 20 years. The only colours I don't know so well nowadays are the new ones they bring out. Uh -huh. but, um, they are peridot. You live and breathe it. I do, I do. <laughs> now you've got your 8 O's and your 11 O's and your 15 O's again in those colours you can see just there. DPX C52, your metallic berries, is coming to you at another fabulous price. Which one's your favourite? Well, I'm a bit of a monotone girl, but I kind of quite like the berries as well. I can't choose between can't both choose of them, do you know that? 1995. So it's price. If it's price that makes you choose, then go for that. But I love that combination of the um the berry tones with the green. I think that's lovely. It really is. pretty. Really Actually, pretty. It's very Christmassy, isn't it? It's gorgeous. I think you can wear that anytime. Anytime. You of could, year. you could. Actually, it's very in fact. Lend me that agate there. I mean, it goes this, this, in. This, the Jasper? Yeah, the, sorry, the Jasper. I beg your pardon. Yeah, that's okay, darling. Oh, look, 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 look. Doesn't it go in very Nuts well? Nuts and berries. Nuts and berries. Yes, it does. You know, any of this, it would go Thanks, terribly Dan. well with. We love and it. And you just make it as a pendant. You know, I have this, I have this sort of thing that I really... I like making beaded jewellery that looks like fine jewellery. Yeah. And that's just my kind of style you know some people make more much bigger pieces but for me I like to make something that your normal average woman would walk down the street wearing yeah and I think that's quite important isn't it because yes yeah. we like our wow factor pieces but then we want to wear it we want to put it on we want to take it out yeah so where do I start right okay well I'm going to do so I, I always write myself little notes when I'm creating patterns so I, I know that a lot of you go back so I've got a little notation here of what I've done. Is that because yeah. otherwise you go a bit off piece? Well no, I just I I make so many different things that I have to remember them each time. Yes. So if I'm making like 16 different pieces a month or so or whatever it is. Oh of course yeah. I have to remember. So what I've done is in order to make this you use 15 o the first row you do is using 15 o seed beads okay and you put 50 on the thread and you make yourself a little circle so 50? i've done that do you count them in tens each time i do actually <laughs> yes funnily i can't enough, count I to do. 50 without and losing my way <laughs> I, I am dreadful and then you put your in index finger in the middle here here we there go, we go. So there's Lovely. 50. Perfect. Gone, I've gone around twice okay. because it's what I call... So Jenny and I were working before this doing a DVD for this. Oh, lovely, lovely. It's so gorgeous. It's called so Hubble gorgeous. Stitch, 
which we will be launching on the oh, 10th. Oh, I love that bracelet <gasps> so much. Anyway. Beautiful. Um, I, te I tease, I tease. That's such um, a lot of Swarovski. It's a lot. It is 630 <gasps> Swarovskis. It's fortune, but there you go. Never mind. <laughs> Um, That's only it's money. It's only money, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> I could eat it Free maybe mortgage. if I got hungry. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Um, <laughs> so I have this ring. I've gone around it twice to reinforce it, and I'm going to do what we call peyote stitch. Now, peyote stitch is always also known as brick stitch. Yeah. And what you do is you pick up another bead, and you go in to... Let's come this way a little bit. There you go. Thank you there so much. Into one bead. Right -o. Pull it through and you miss the other bead. So I'm going in here, up through that bead here. Mm-hmm. Doot. And I'm pulling it through. Through it goes. And literally, you do that all the way around here. Okay. Mm-hmm. And we go all the way around. And what you will do is you'll then come all the way back to the beginning. Can you see how it's forcing? Or well, I don't know, I'm going to put it down there. It's very difficult to see these tiny little wee beads, but it's creating a, a slight slant. But ostensibly what it's doing there is... There we go, we're, gonna, we're just zooming in on you. Oh, there we go. Is your... You're de-seating every other bead. You're just going like a zigzag. Which sort of replicates when you look at a wall that's bricked. Correct. You have two at the top, one in the, between the middle of those Absolutely. two. Absolutely. Yeah. So you're going to do that all the way around. And then when you get back to the beginning of it, you do what is called stepping up. So imagine I'd come back here. I go through here and through the next one up here. And that's how I get to the next row. Right. I would like you to do that three times, okay? Okay. So three rows of peyote stitch. So all the way around once, all, all the way, way around, around twice, twice all, all the way, way around thrice. Three times, right. Then what you're going to do is you're going to change to 11 OC beads. So those are the next size up. Tip a few of those out. And then you're going to use... So this is what it'll look like. Yes, when you've this gone is what it's thrice. going to look like. Oh, woo! See Sorry. <laughs> it's all right, don't worry, they're very yeah. naughty. I'm just going to zap this um, little end bit off because it's going to annoy me. Thread I'm zapper is out. Thread zapper. It's tomorrow morning. Oh, look at that. The thread zapper is back. Ta da! I love the thread zapper. You'll be able to play with that tomorrow. <sighs> there we go, right. Stop okay. sniffing flames. I love it. I love <laughs> thread zapper. <laughs> Oh dear, now, especially, I mean, I like all thread zappers. So we have generation uno thread zapper, mm -hmm. and then we have second generation thread zapper, which oh, I've got there. Oh, second generation. Right, so, yeah, I know, who would have thought, eh? Mm. Right, okay, here I go. Now, I'm going to just step up here. So I'm going through this one and up through this one. So that's my final row on this. Then I'm going to change up to the larger bead here. And you'll find, because when you go round, things splay out like that, this space in between these two will be large enough then to put an 11 O in. OK, and I'm going to do a whole row of 11 O's around this side. But I won't sit there and make you watch me doing this, because when you've got 50 beads, by the way, and you do peyote stitch, um, and you're de-seating one bead everywhere, mm. you will then have 25, what the, I love the way the Americans say, well, you had 25 sticky outy beads, all right? Protruders, I like protruding to Protruding beads, yeah. yes. 25 protruding beads. So you don't really want to watch me doing this um, 25 times, but this is it how... It is quite it, um, hypnotic. Is it? Oh, well, I yeah, can do it. But it anyway, is quite relaxing. It is, Oh, fantastic. And in fact, I think that the National Health Service should um, prescribe beading for mindfulness. Well, so. it's funny you should say that because they do encourage, well, I'm not sure if it's the NHS that encourage it, but definitely the charities that are attached to mindfulness um, do like to Ooh. broaden the horizon. Because if you remember, I've, I've worked with a, a mindful charity and, if, and I was talking to a lady that was a representative and she said... Um, 10, 15 years ago, yeah. the encouragement was to go out and run, go to the gym, go for a swim. Now, of course, 
there are so many different types of mental illnesses, Indeed. and I'm not a doctor, please don't think I'm, um, that uh, a lot of people just simply don't want to leave their house. A lot of people just simply cannot go for a run. It could be that they've got something else that's, also, that's stopping them doing that. Or they that. might not be uh, able to Or they to just do it. can't face doing so, or they might not live somewhere they could do that or whatever. They just might not be, you know, they might have um, some kind of uh, restriction. Now, if you couldn't do sport then, what were they going to encourage you to do? Well, actually, it's a really great idea to try any different type of craft, whether it's knitting, whether it's sewing, whether it's jewellery making, whether it's cake baking. Crafting is absolutely going to help you with mindfulness. It is a fact. It's out there. Something that is going to help you mentally break away from your everyday humdrum, whether it be going for a run, whether it be doing something creative. Yeah. It is going to take your mind somewhere else for that for a certain period of time. And that can make your day more productive than it would have been if, if you weren't going to do that. If you're going to hospital, if, you're, if you literally have a situation that will not allow you to move very much from place to place, whether you can't do that for whatever reason, to then sit on a daily basis and do nothing can make the situation worse. Whereas if you've productively spent the day doing something that creates something beautiful at the end of it that you could gift to somebody or keep for yourself, yeah. doesn't that make you feel proud? Oh, it does. And, and, and actually, the moment somebody says to you, oh, that's a really beautiful piece you're wearing, isn't it wonderful? I don't do it very much anymore because I get a bit embarrassed, actually, but say, oh, actually, I made, actually, I made it myself. And then you can go, do you want one? You 30 like pounds and it's yours. Yeah. So I've gone all the way around one side here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to then go what we call threadwise, which means you're following a thread path so that you don't see there we go and I'm going to do a peyote round the other side because what I want to achieve is to get this bit in the middle to sit flat with bits coming up either side of it and if you do two rows round one side you won't be able to go into the middle part because it will change um, it, it will basically change. So I just basically use my finger. In fact, actually, I, I, I often think I should insure my index finger because without my index finger, I couldn't bead half the time, I often think. There we go. So there we go. Can you see and how it's flattening this piece out here in the middle? That. Yes, it does. It, it tightens it, it as well, doesn't it? It tightens it and it flattens it. And then what we do, so I'm, I'm just going to do a few more just to show you what we're achieving then. So once we've done that, so there we go. Look, I'm going to do this. So you've got a sneaky peek at this, right? So it changed to 11 OCD beads, it says here. And you'll be able to read this when you look back over it. Do one row on outer perimeter of circle and go threadwise to center of circle and do another two rows. Then you go back again to the other side and you do another row. Now, here is one, here is one I did earlier. Right? So organized. One I made earlier. And you can see here how, sorry, how it's um, flattened the middle bit here and how these are now curving up either side. And then what I'm going to do next so I'm going to move that out of the way, and I'm going to move these out of the way. I know, it's right there. Just I'm being a bit wasteful. I'm just putting a few of these in the bin. Right? No, so, no! Get them Jen to is, me! Jen is going to get into this bin afterwards, I'm oh. sure. Right now, I'm putting <laughs> poor seed beads. Putting the size eight o's out. I feel like there was a national cry out then of seed oh, beaders oh, when oh. they saw that. So I'm now putting the size 8 O's around here. And then I'm going to be able to, once I put all these 8 O's around here, I'm going to be able to zip this up. Or I would imagine that if you had all the sweepings of the floor or of this studio and or, in fact, you know, I mean, I was walking down the corridor earlier and I found two 
socking great big pieces of blue agate just Ooh, in the lovely. middle of the floor. I tell you, it's <laughs> worth working here because, you know... You know Some I, people find sandwiches, don't oh, they? Yeah, I found Emma. sandwiches too. <laughs> yeah, I found... <laughs> No, 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 I didn't find it in the shop. I found it outside on the floor, literally. What, did you, what the agate? The agate, yes. It wow. was blue. Very pretty, wasn't it? Wow. I, 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 I did actually... The things you I find. Did, I did say, I said, has somebody dropped this? I know it's very unusual because normally I would just pick it up, of course, and it would, it would just become mine. But, um, <laughs> and I would use my shape-shifting But you know there are cameras everywhere here. I so do, I do. <laughs> so I said, oh. Has somebody lost this or dropped this on the floor? And there you go. And, and then you add it. And, and then I had it. No, I didn't actually. I have to say I gave it back. Oh. I was very well behaved well done, today. Yeah. I know it's unusual, but yeah, no, well, Jenny, Jenny is of my. I don't take things, I'd like you all to know. I put them in my ears and then for hygiene reasons, I take them home because I don't like waste. I do not like it when you have to break things down and get rid of them. So no, quite right. <laughs> doing it for the people. Yes, she doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't want somebody to have something that's been in her own ear. Well, and I don't want it to get broken down and chucked away. No, absolutely not. Disregarded when no. it's been so Terrible. lovingly made. Absolutely right. So. Taking one for the team, there, people. <laughs> Golly, goodles, that is fabulous. Right, okay, so now I'm stepping up at the end of this row. If I can get the needle in here, it's being very... So, do you know, there will be times when you'll think, you'll sit there for hours trying to get the needle in to the last bead. Right, there we go. I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. Just when she very kindly brought it, the camera closed. But, you know, one of the things you need to do is... You need to be the master of your beading. You know, don't let it get the better of you. Now, what you will notice here is that this bead is in opposition to this one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zip this little circle up. How's that caught around there? Now, do be careful when you're doing this. Can you see what just happened to me then? That naughty piece of thread try to go around the other um, seed beads behind it. And uh, you, you do need to seriously watch out for that because it, it honestly happens to everybody. Okay. And it's deeply frustrating when you get to the end of a row and you have to undo the whole lot because your thread got caught somewhere along the way. There we go. So. What you do is you zip the whole thing up like this. Mm -hmm. Has that happened again? No, it hasn't. It's all right. No, I've gone. I've gone through this. Oh, uh, da, 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 da. there we go. And also make sure that you are watching as you do this. To, that you're doing like that. The it's brick. like it, yeah. yeah. It's like a crenellation, and indeed, it's also like a zip because that is what we're doing. This is actually known in, in the trade as zipping up. So we yes, it are, is, isn't it? Zipping yeah, up. We're zipping up these beads. And when you have zipped up these beads, you'll then have quite a, a rigid little circle that you can use almost like a, a coloured finding. And in fact, I have made these to become um, clasps before. And they are really useful so if you want to have something that matches um, a beautifully seed beaded bracelet that you'd labored long and hard over and you can't find a, a a relevant clasp then you can make your own by using this methodology um, and i don't know if we've got any left but we did a a, a duva -du on that um not so terribly long ago a duva -du? a, a dvd a duved a, a duva -du on making um, beaded clasps. There we go, I've almost finished this, chaps. Oh, 
gosh, imagine if I'd made one from the beginning. I think I could have taken the whole show doing this, right? We wouldn't have minded, would oh, we, jewelry very makers? Kind. Don't there forget to uh, message in if you've got any questions at all for Kleshner. The text number is 60777. Right. I'm going to stop there because honestly, it's so neat and tidy. And the thing about seed beading is it does look super neat and tidy, doesn't yeah. it? And then all you do is you literally pop your needle through the middle here. Mm -hmm. And you will pick up, say, maybe two of these beads. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you know which side is the right side, by the way, and which side is the They're wrong side. Beautiful. They are both beautiful. Jenny is absolutely right. But if you have it, there is. So you so go. So you see, it, let's show it. Yeah. Just one you so, can see. Oh, yeah. That's the wrong side, and that's the right side. The right side, I mean, you can't really see It's very here. difficult to see. But it is very difficult. But, you know, you will notice which one One's is which. One's a little bit more mystic-y than the other. Yeah. I think it's more obvious in these ones, you know, because that one is, is really mystic -y. And then when you see, so that's the other. But it's the same effect on those, but there's a slight, there's like a sunny yellow tinge to them. Yeah. And then what you need to do is you need to suspend it. Right there, we're, we're just going to find you, Kleshi. Like that. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it looks Work fabulous. Work out where it is that you need to go through the middle. Yeah. And then literally pop your needle up through there. And you've got, a, you've got your little sort of pendant there. Fab. And that's how I made it. Looks fantastic, doesn't there it? Go. It's fabulous. Thank you, Kleshi. I thank you. I thank you. Beautiful. Uh, Twenty-one ninety-five is for the Isle of Paradise. That's the kit with the blue, uh, and then we have the kit with the, that Kleshner was just using uh, just a moment ago, as well on the bottom of your screen. Lots of you are shopping with us this evening. It's so lovely to have your company. Thank you so much for joining us here at Jewelry Maker. Now let me give to you um, a little bit of a sneaky peek. I, I know love you love that. the look how sparkly but this you know, is. You could use the smallest one of that. You could use making Whoops, this so and have the most incredible. Well, in fact, two of them you could use as seed beads. This one is like an 11 0, and the other one is like a, a, a 6 0. Mm -hmm. So, actually, Fabulous. you could create. Oh, can you imagine that? Oh, my goodness me. You could do peyote stitch circle with that. Mm then that could be your next one up and that could be your edge one. Perfect. You can make a perfectly fabulous um, circle out of that. Wonderful, isn't it? It's and then hang pearls later. through it. There's <gasps> so many ideas. There's oh, so many. And it gives endless. you that fabulous black sparkle that we I just love. love. It. We love it. Uh, now, shall we continue on? Oh, yes, please. Let's go. The, you're, are you finished showing I'm us? I'm finished saying, I, I, I'm just carrying on to finish it for myself. I might give it to Jenny if she's well behaved later on. I'm so well behaved. Oh, Look at me. So good. I'm so well You're behaved. You're a good girl. Now, we're going to give you some more gorgeous things in this way of... Uh, now, these ones I always call mermaidials. That's a oh, mermaid's those are tail, isn't it? such a beautiful colour. Matte patina is what they're calling these. And uh, they are Mayuki seed beads. Mayuki giving you one of the broadest range uh, in the colour spectrum and uh, also giving you, they say, the best quality on they the market. They are the best quality. And, you know, the other thing, folks, is if you, do, if you are a seed beader, and you see a colour that you haven't got in your armoury of, of, of seed beads, please do buy it because they don't make all the colours all the time. And they make some of the colours some of the time. So they might make something like 200 kilos of, you know, this sort of matte the mermaid yeah. colour. And they won't make that matte mermaid colour again for six months, eight months. Yeah. So they... It because depends what the can't. trends are. They have to keep going with the trends, don't well, they? And then they come back to them. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Indeed. And also, there are squillions of colours of seed beads. I mean, I have got a, a, a colour chart for seed beads, and it goes on for pages. So they can't. So the only way that we... And we have a, mass, a massive buying capacity, but equally... Um, the only way that you can get a specific colour made is if you order ridiculous amounts mm -hmm. of kilos. Yeah. And when you think that this is only, what, 27 grams, 
you'd have to order a hell of a lot. You certainly would. 1895 for all three of these. Eight O seed beads as well. They're um, one of the popular sizes here. I think they're a great starting point. Uh, a couple of messages coming through. I'm just going to grab my doodah because I can't look up there because I can't see very well. Uh, oh, no, it's not come up on my doodah. It's coming up in a sec. Uh, Catherine from Kildare says, uh, wonderful demo, Kleshner. Thanks Thank for sharing you. an amazing design. Bless you, Catherine. That's really... So ah, from County Kildare. She's from Kildare, so... She comes from your area. <laughs> she does. Uh, now, we are... Uh, we, the next one coming through is from a customer uh, saying, amazing demo as always. You oh, make it so you. easy to follow. Uh, must give this a go now. Please do. Do you know, it's a... It works with you can this will work um, with gemstones as well. So this is what really excited me is looking at those three strands of spinel, you could use exactly the same technique because what you need for this technique is three different sizes that yeah. follow on. Yeah. And so it can is, be done. It can be done in gemstones. Brilliant. It's lovely to know, isn't it? Another one coming through. Do, 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 do. Susan uh, from Yorkshire who says beading and mindfulness works for me it relieves my stress and anxiety thoroughly recommend it and of course we're not doctors um, thank you so much Susan um, I, I agree wholeheartedly with yeah. you we have to say that we have to be careful because we're not no, um, we're not medically we're not doctors, trained for that but um, I know you might be thinking we know that Jenny we, we have to say it We've got to be careful. You've got to be careful in this world. Yeah. Um, because everybody's different as well. And everybody should follow their own path and their own. If you're, if you're being spoken to by a professional, obviously always follow their advice yeah. before anything else. Um, now, but I agree with you, Susan. I do. I think it works for me to... Ooh, look what at this. What colour. Oh, even the tassels on that I would use. Wow, factor oh. 1,000. They These. are fab are gorgeous. Put them in a ring. If you are doing silver clay, this, this, this. Or Beautiful. Elizabeth bought us the new medium, which name I've now forgotten. Uh, um, it, oh, what's it called, what's it called, what's it called? Uh, do, 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 do. Argentium. Argentium. I know like Elizabeth. Spell. She used to, you, she's wonderful. She's a lovely lady. She um, used to work at the place you used to work at as a buyer. She did, yes, she did, yes. yes. Now, she was my buyer at one juncture. She was. And I'm very fond of her. She's a very nice lady. I actually don't think the rec recording does this any justice whatsoever. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't think that looks as nice, do you? No, I don't. That I don't doesn't think look it, half as nice. I have to tell you, in real life, look. this is an absolute gem of a product. What a gorgeous strand. And look, you've even got little rounds in between. Now this chrysocolla is beautiful. Chrysocolla um, is found often in the same place that, uh, is it malachite is found? And so you do get these rich, 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 rich greens. It's a wonderful gem. So we don't actually see in massive carrot weights. This is probably one of the biggest carrot, carrot weight strands I've seen for chrysocolla. Now you've got a lot on the strand for 1995. You do, of course, get those wonderful turquoise colors coming in. The matrix of chrysocolla can, uh, can differ. The colors can differ in here. You can get some really dark navy blue matrix lines running through. You can get some beiges and some golden uh, matrix lines running through. Running through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve on the strand. Um, and they are all separated by the little round beads. I'm not entirely sure are if they're quite okay. Well, it's just you know what? I, it doesn't give me that information, but I'd say, I I'd, I'd say they were. Because look, are. if you and even if they're not, I can't guarantee it that they do look like they? it. They're beautiful. They're gone. Spinel coming up soon. The spinel would nestle beautifully in between those three strands, all going under ten pounds. Uh, let's press on though, and let's give to you some French wire. I don't know how you stand with French wire. Have you used French wire? I have. Question? I used to use French wire for pearl knotting. And also... Oh, did you? Yeah. How do you pearl it, knot with it? Well, you actually use it for the ends. That's what, what it was originally created right. for. I mean, we, we, are, we are... Sorry, I'm just going to do... From the end of the piece, you yes. mean? Yes. So, what you used to use French wire for, you used to get a tiny bit, and it was created to cover the... Um, the silk at the oh, end clever. of pearl knotting. Right. So you used to do you used to do that. Yeah. Oh, and it bends so and well it bends because and it stops the silk from wearing when it's going 
There we go. Mm, 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 on the clasp. Oh, and fabulous. And that is what its real... So that's what its purpose was? That's what its real purpose so is So it's for. not just unicorn hair in a wirework unicorn? No, it's not. And actually, one of the things I love doing with French wire is I just like going... Stop, because I do that, and you're not supposed because then you can't really look. I've done look, it all so, there. It was somehow me. Somehow it's happened. That's my me doing boingers. Oh. I just love it. It's so satisfying, but do of course you, know you shouldn't do it. How much is this French one? Oh, do you 6 know what? is all for 20 lengths. If you wanted to have fun, if you wanted to have 6 95 worth of fun, I'd buy it all and just go. It's boing. very satisfying. <laughs> it's like if you have. Um, What's that, those bubbles you pop? Oh, yes, yes, like bubble, bubble wrap. Bubble wrap, that's yes. it. It's kind of like that for like jewellery makers. popping pop, pop, your bubble pop, wrap pop, all the pop, time. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah, the rest, you, I mean, you only need Honestly, a little bit. Honestly, you need, like, minuscule amounts <coughs> for pearl knotting. Six ninety five for that so as well is a great price. You've got twelve inches in each one, and uh, you get twenty of those. GDZR forty is your item code for your silver plated copper French wire. It's gorgeous. Now, we're going to give to you, oh, there they are. Now, I like the idea of these being in a ring. Prong set, this is me, this is my hand as a prong, in case you wondered what on earth I was doing. <laughs> I think, I think we're going to, being a pterodactyl. Gonna, I am. I think this is going to be a pterodactyl uh, star by. Okay, when you see a shape and size like this, you do want a prong set, a set it, or you want to make sort of a, a piano bar necklace. Yes. You've got that wonderful, smooth, yet also domed top. You've got an amazing edge on these, so if you wanted to put gallery wire around them, or you wanted to put uh, maybe soutache around yep. them, you can. They will accommodate that really nicely. Look at the thickness. These bars are gorgeous. Look how shiny they are. Beautiful. They're going under £10 for the first time ever today, right now, as you're star by you need to be quick with this one so i think i think the temptation for rings is strong with this but i Ooh, also yes. think you know you can do a lot with something like this can't you i think you really can i, I love these are almost like picasso-esque this one look agreed at this. look at the fossil here can you see it i can look at this amazing they're, they're quite remarkable and, and every single one of course unique and look at this one these little sort of they look like little little sea urchins, don't do, they? Do you know what? It reminds me of, you know when you get moss on yeah. a rock and it gets that sort of like rust around the moss? Yeah. And like a, a verdigris sort of thing. It reminds me of that. Yeah. The beautiful natural colours. You almost, nature's sort of stream and you can hear Correct. the birds and the water flowing. It is a very earthy strand. If you love your jasper, you're going to really adore this. If you love your earthy colours, you're going to need this in your life. If you want to mix this up with others, you can, but it just works individually too, doesn't Beautiful. it? Beautiful. You could put this on a leather cord and it could go in a chap's necklace. It could go in a, a masculine piece. I think, um, again, I think just having a different shape and a different size makes you travel down different roads that you wouldn't if you didn't have this. Under £10 for the very first time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On my strand, you should have there or thereabouts at £9.95. You know that that is such a great price. It's over a pound each. Incredible value. Is Ooh. that the price of everyday ocean jasper like this in a huge 85 carat carat weight? No. Take advantage of it. We are loving that so many of you shopping with us this evening. We're having such a fantastic time. We hope you are too. Uh, the smoothness, the colour, beautiful. Love it all. Real big beautiful. fan of this one. Really I'm pretty, isn't this. it? It's beautiful. They remind me of little stone hinges too. Yeah, you, you, can, you can see a lot in things like you this, really I think. You really can, can't you? There yeah. are just so many benefits um, to something like this. We've had actually a lot of rather beautiful sort of natural mm. colours mm -hmm. in the show, haven't we? Yeah, it'll go with so the rondelles. Cleverly put together. You could keep it as a necklace and space it out with the rondelles together. Uh, Jasper and Jasper, <gasps> you know they work together. That it's would be true. fab. Uh, what about the rounds? Oh, yes, love, love the course. contrast of the round with the um, rectangle. 
But then, oh, have oh, you, you knew, yes, I took I it, I knew it was did. in your head. Oh, oh, I know. Oh, oh and, let's and, go to the party. the Savorite garnet. I mean, excuse well, me. Well, it's nature upon nature, what right? What does this not go with? Um, excuse That's me. That's lovely. This could also go with the kit. Here she goes, everyone. Oh, God. Here, here, here she we goes. Go. Kleshner look. unleashed. Look, look. Love it. Beautiful. Now, what can we say? You could oh, do, ah, marvellous. and now you can encase with seed beads pretty much anything. So there you go, everyone. Honestly, you can. You certainly can. L, H, uh, oh, I've, I've lost the, there we go. Now, I'm going to give you that Zavarite garnet because, oh, I ooh, love the gosh, I am sorry to that strength. I have to tell you that our Leah has Zavarite hair at the moment. She does at the moment. Yes, our Leah has Zavarite garnet hair. She went into the Zavarite mine and out she came. That is not a true story. <laughs> <laughs> I was going earlier. Oh, is that what you were doing? Yes, that's right. I thought you were saying dealy boppers or something. No, 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 she's got Zabrite hair. <laughs> she has. It won't come out, truth be told. You oh. have to dye it black, it's the only way. <laughs> now, we are over allocated with this strand. Uh, we've got Darren, jewelry maker in Kent, Ellen Gloucestershire, the Shire, Karen in West Midlands, and an anonymous uh, jewelry oh. maker all on the uh, website, but we've also got a couple in baskets on the phones for this. So if you want it, a few of you are gonna miss out because we don't have that many, um, but you've got it in, oh, and, and lots of people are multi -bone. So if you're thinking, well, I was gonna get two or three, should I get two or three? Well, in a minute, you won't get one at all because they'll all be allocated. If you don't like missing out, you need to check out your basket on that one. 12 95 is all you're paying for genuine Zavarite garnet. And we had so many ideas. So many ideas for that one. Now, talking of ideas, in the next hour, we've got loads more coming up for oh, you. Oh, fabulous. So stay exactly where you are. We've got some more for, up for you. We're, we're gonna continue on now. Ooh. Oh, you're gonna like this. Oh. So if you're in for it, I've got some more for you. That. Look at this. Oh, that's a cute little thing. I, I love some these more micro Zabrite. faceted. Aren't they lovely? Look at the clarity of it. Do you know, I mean, just to think that somebody has sat there and, and cut every single mm -hmm. one of those. I'd love to see how they do that. Well, it's a With skill great... that's usually passed skill. down from generation to generation. Now, you look at this and you think, actually, now I've got a um, Auralite bracelet on. I'm testing it for its pro healing properties. That's, oh. that's my story and I'm sticking to it. But wouldn't those look great together? And I think this has done Fabulous. a lot. A lot of people doing this with genuine gemstones. Um, I'm supposed to be wearing that around my crown, but it's not as easy as you might think. Now, this is rich in colour. Rondells give you a lot of options, yep. a lot of options, because you could take four of those, channel set them, put them into a ring. You could take a larger section of these, channel set them, put them into a bracelet. You could have them with your sterling silver. You could have them with your silver clays. I think the color is so striking and strong. It will work with silver, it will work with gold. At $34.95, you've got a fantastic opportunity. Do you know, you could make the, you know the thing that I've just made? that little ring, yeah. instead of using the um, golden ones on the edge, you could channel set those and make a beaded Ooh, ring. And it'd be striking. Absolutely, so with colour. Perfect. At £34.95, QMN V76, uh, a great price, a fantastic strand, really rich, really vibrant and ready to become yours. This is Zavarite Garnet, uh, birth gemstone of January. We gave you loads of information on this uh, gemstone. and look, but it, but, So this one is different from the nuggets because it's simply of the cuts. You've got a, an enormous amount of fabulous clarity. You've got a wonderful inner glow. Can you see those almost like the sunbeams just trying to burst out of these as they move. You're gonna really enjoy that. You're gonna enjoy watching that. Uh, QMN V76, 34 pounds and 95 pence. Let's continue on. We're gonna, we, we won't be able to squeeze any more in for this hour. <gasps> Join us in, in a couple of minutes show because we have got those incredible sparklers. So many of you have asked us when, where, how. Coming up after the break.
Hello guest designer Fleur here, welcome to my studio. I'm happy to announce that this Friday it's Fleur Day, a whole day for me. So we've got the whole day split into three categories. So our morning show will be all about our classics, where we've got some beautiful hand-selected pearls. So Marie and Caroline have selected the pearls for their beauty and their size and their luster. We've also got sterling silver French wire, which is very important to finish those pieces off beautifully. In the mid-show, we've got stretchy bracelets, so perfect gift ideas. We've got sterling silver gold-plated and rose gold-plated sterling silver spacer beads and a beautiful pearl pendant. And then in the late show, it's back to basics. So we've got some beautiful gold colored pearls, which are absolutely fabulous to work with. We're gonna be using all of our findings. We're gonna be doing things like wrapped loops. We've also got a kit with 100 sterling silver featherweight head pins as well. I'm gonna show you what you can do when you finish with them. So join me on Friday all day from nine in the morning till 10 at night. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Share. ...and demonstration. Come and join us from 1pm this Thursday for a... At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Black Spinel needs much introduction because Klesha and I have been all over this, haven't oh we? Oh my goodness. Like a hot flannel. Oh, this really? is amazing. I really want to make like <coughs> a big ring out of this. Mm. I could do that. It's beautiful, isn't it's it? It's just sublime. Honestly, use this little method here that I was using to make these rings. It will be just fabulous. Because you've got that graduation in size, oh. and you've got three strands here, you've got so many options. Unbelievable. You, yes, you can use these as a little accent in between a white pearl, but you can do so many different beading techniques with them as well. Absolutely. And I don't think we need to explain that luster. I don't think we need to explain that shine, that bling. It's doing fabulous. its own performance for you. Peacocking its way onto our screen Greens yes. with its incredible personality is this black spinel. Spinel is a really highly regarded gemstone in the gemstone industry. It, wow. It's a gemstone that is often mistaken for other gemstones. I think if you look at this strand right now, you get uh, you you get black diamonds out there that have less sparkle than oh, these, don't you? Very much so. Um, you know, unless you're paying a fortune and. Well, 
looking at the prices we've had so far on the show, I doubt that this is a fortune. It's very, it's going to be it's very, very affordable indeed. Priced. So you've got these three graduating sizes. Great for a peyote stitch. A tab. Great for going around any kind of gemstone, but great as an accent, great to do so many different Fabulous. things with. I love black and silver, but if you're going to be very Chanel mm. about life, then it's all about the black and gold, oh, isn't it? Gosh, but I yes. don't think, do you know the thing is, you can put this colour next to any other colour and it just holds its own. You have got a striking contrast yeah. colour in a black. Um, and if you're looking for that, if you're looking for something that's strong, if you're looking for something that's lustrous, if you're looking for something that's going to sparkle and shine every Beautiful. time you look at it, then look no further. Spinel is included in the... Um, crown jewels it, it was yes. thought to have been a ruby it was a red version of spinel wow. thought to have been a ruby it, it ended up being um actually a very high graded spinel and it was um it was it was a, a gemstone that belonged to the black prince and it, and it actually was called the black prince's ruby wow. well then they discover of course it's not a ruby at all it's a spinel Ooh. so this little um little disguised splendor of a gemstone gives it gives a performance all of its own doesn't it look at this and historically you know it's been pulling the wool over so many uh, people's eyes as as a black diamond as a red ruby and it does it so well i mean you could argue it does it better couldn't you look at those duracoat gold and the duracoat silver you know if you wanted to make your spinel go further just you know, mm -hmm. you putting that in between. Oh, it's a great idea. You know, Fantastic. putting the silver in between. Just, you can make all of that goes like three, four times as far. 100%. But I would use all of this together. I would make a beautiful... I quite like a big ring, you know, out yeah. of that. Yeah, a big cocktail piece oh, that is fabulous. showing off, just like this gemstone is doing. And, uh, and there's so many occasions that you could wear this. Out to dinner, out yes. to the theatre, yes. out for your um, New Year's Eve party, yes. for your Christmas parties, oh. for Christmas Day. Yes. This is going to sing at you, isn't it? Look at that sparkle. Let's start the clock. You've got one minute to get on the phone lines. Now, we're going to do the four mil first. They're all going under £10. So wow. they're all going under £10. We're going to do them in size order for you. Each price, price, price. Each, each price. Huh? Suddenly, I'm from Texas. I did not uh, know. Are you? I do apologise. <laughs> now, that was probably the worst Texan accent ever. Look. They're gorgeous. A four mil sparkling performance. Uh, they're about to become yours. We're already getting a lot of interest in these. Lots of you have been texting in. Well, now's your opportunity. That minute clock is to give you a minute to sort yourself out on the phones, get yourself logged in on jewelrymaker.com or get yourself with the app open, ready, so that you can shop with us here at Jewelry Maker. And when you shop with us here at Jewelry Maker, you pay one PMP. Even if you're gonna put, buy all three of these and you think, oh no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not paying three separate PMPs. No need, <laughs> no need, it's only 3.95. 50 carats of black spinel. You get a 38 centimeter strand. These ones are four millimeters. They're the largest of the three. And they are gonna work so, it's so well for your jewellery making. Guaranteed under £10. Let's start by giving you a fantastic opportunity. This is your first star bite of the 8 o'clock hour. And look at them go. Look at them. Oh, look, they look are at them. So, it looks like someone's pouring water around them. They're so sparkly, doesn't <laughs> yeah. it? It does, doesn't it? Lots of you in for this one. Jewelry maker in Berkshire, two for you. Maria, two for you. Christine, Julia, Elizabeth, Maureen, uh, Charlotte in Devon, Alison in County Antrim, Wendy's shopping, Fiona in Falkirk, uh, Charlotte, you've got yours. Uh, jewelry maker, maker in Dorset and Susan in Dorset. Uh, jewelry maker in Cardiff, Helen in Bridgend. I love Cardiff. Have a look. Because for seven ninety five, you can get yourself no way. some incredible sparkle. Oh. These completely sold out in July. This $7 is your seven ninety five. What for all three? Lorks alive. No, each one. Lorks alive. Seven ninety five. Uh, mm -hmm. But by the way, the next one is going even lower. <gasps> no way. Mm -hmm. Oh my. And it, it, you know, it's not very often that we have three perfectly graduated. You know, three mm -hmm. strands that we're selling one after another yeah. consecutively. It's like that we've go down out. in size. 
at 7.95 as well for the first one. You know the next one's going longer. Uh, now half the stock has gone. Eek. Oh, less than 30 left. Uh, Jurymaker and Cumbria, check out your basket. Mary and Jerry, check out. Derbyshire, check out. Uh, Alan and Gwynedd, check out. Jurymaker in West Yorkshire and Karna in Berkshire, check out your baskets. We've got now 23 opportunities. There's a small queue on the phone. It's like about a minute long. Uh, stay with it. Stay with it. It's a free phone number. Not long. Oh, good grief, good grief, good grief. Uh, yes, well, a lot of people are multi-buying. I would. Probably half of, of you out there have multi-bought this one. ILK, Y19 is the item code you're looking for for the four millimeter um option for you uh, we've got jewelry makers shopping from all over the world don't forget we do uh ship globally under 20 left now oh he's oh. gonna sell out he's gonna sell out lynn in hampshire check out linda in hertfordshire check out uh west yorkshire check out your baskets oh good grief goodness gracious me what a lovely price. What a wonderful high-impact gemstone as well. And that's exactly Beautiful. what it is. It's a high-impact strand. Well, each one of them are um, in their own right, of course. So we're going to give you the next uh, strand, but we have still got some of these available. You need to check out your baskets, though. Lots of you are. Atlantic ship, do check out. Surrey, do check out. Uh, these are the biggest, of, of course, being four millimeters. Uh, lots of ways in which you can shop. Did you know we take PayPal? We do. Oh, I love PayPal. Well, I've been spreading the cost of everything oh, over PayPal. Oh, my you know. goodness gracious. I love PayPal. It's fabulous. It is, isn't it? Yeah. But, of course, we take so debit cards and credit cards too. £7, 95 pence, ILKY19, 50 carats of black spinel. 10 left. Oh, and we've got Heather, Drew Maker in London, Surrey, Alan in Gwynedd, West Yorkshire, uh, brand new jewellery maker, Derbyshire, Cumbria, Oxfordshire, and oh we have got uh, Sussex, um, and now Nottinghamshire, and now Town and Ware. Ta Town and Ware, Tyne and Ware. We're over allocated. We're over allocated on that one. Right, so let's continue. <gasps> let's crack on that one. Looks like it sold itself out. So let's go down oh. to. Is it are these three mil? Are we, or are they three mils? So exactly the same applies. We're going to give you the clocks because a lot of you are uh, trying to sort yourself out online there. Heather's just put three in her basket, which I'm means... I'm surprised. Which means the rest of the queue lot are even in even more trouble. Now, <laughs> you know, the queue lot. The, the, the queue, queue lot. lot. The queue lot. <laughs> Imagine these. Now, Clash has made the most amazing hairpin out of the grips that we had earlier. Oh, yes. How cool is this? Imagine these in the centre, just twinkling away, oh, minding their own business, sad. looking fantastic. Well, this will match your little thing, won't what, it? this little thing here? This little thing. There this we go. So we'll, we'll have oh, thanks. That there. I'm going away with goodies today, let me oh, tell yeah. you. And I'm going to a charity ball on Saturday, so I'm Excellent. going to be wearing these. I can't good, wait. Good, good, Now, that's it. Uh, yes, it'll go around these as well. Look that how well that oh. goes. That looks so well, doesn't it? I so just, well. Actually, I love the tell tininess. You what we could just do. Go the on. tininess. The tininess. Ah, the tininess of you. The nearness of you. <laughs> it's not the pen. We can't la, afford. La, we can't la, afford la, that one. We can't afford that song. No. It's you true. only get three seconds. It's, I was just going to say yes. <laughs> you get three seconds before Sue Town. Oh. Being sued, you know, you're in Sue Town. I just yeah. made that up, by the way. Sue Town. There's no such <laughs> town. <laughs> Look at these holding on. Look, it works. Doesn't it look fab? So let's give you that clock. Oh, we've done the clock. Oh, goodness, you're already in. I thought all those people were for the, for the last one. I'm really high pitched now. I realize only dogs and cats can hear me. Uh, now, Julia, you've got two. Christine, two for you. Maria, uh, you've got two. Dorset, you've got to. Uh, Janice, you're in as well. Goodness, Mary and Jerry, they know where it's at. I thought you were going to see, say Mary and Joseph there. I don't know why. <laughs> Jesus, Good. Mary and Joseph. Goodness, Mary and Joseph. <laughs> oh, dear me. You sound like my grandma. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, bless my old grandma. Oh. She rang me once in absolute tears because I... I hadn't uh, christened my son. Oh. And it was at, like midnight. I was like, Grandma, I'm so sorry. Can we not do this now? It's midnight. Please just, uh, can't, 
not go on like this. Like, oh, I can't stop thinking about it. I was like, okay, Grandma, Aww. sorry. Uh, Four ninety-five M M X K Y forty-nine uh, Buckinghamshire two for you. Stephanie and Berkshire two collector um, two for you. London three for you. Uh, loads of you loving this. Ellen the Shire, you've got yours um, again. Uh, how has half the stock gone? Oh, well over half. Oh, I'm not oh, surprised. We're approaching limited <gasps> stock. <laughs> we're now limited stock. 495 I'm MXK. Limited stock means we don't we have less than 10% of the stock remaining, which means it is going to sell out very soon. 495? Well, of course, of course it will. Um, that's this is a full strand, it's just that it's you get beautiful. an extra bit at the end. So when you do that, it does um apologies about the nail, I just... broke it. Oh, you poor thing. I was walking the dog and I got it on the gate. And uh, of course, when you've got to come to work, there's no time. <gasps> Look, I mean, it, it just, it strands beautifully. Honestly, it's Put your strands, needle straight I've through that. I just put my needle straight. I was just curious, you know. Of course. Very you naughty were. of me. But, no, uh, no. Well, to be that. honest, I think quite a lot of people are going to seed bead with them. So it's a good thing that you did honestly, that. Honestly, look, you can see it perfectly. And this is a 10 needle, goes through it. You can seed bead with this till your heart's content, folks. Love it. You, you could, could I make, make a, a study how, how could you make a study area? Well, actually, if you get a fine, if you got a fine um, head You make pin, a beady bead out of it first. Well, Sorry, you you're trying to answer and I'm talking right. over you. So you can make a beady bead out of this. Yes, I could do that in... Uh, oh, yes, if oh, you well, let Leah me Leah was asking that because she wanted am one I, for herself. Am I allowed to... Um, I could cut the strand uh, up very easily. Sure. I just go... Chop. It's all in the name of market research. Thank you. Uh, right. Now, we've got ten left, and the unchecked baskets are Angela, Susan, Anonymous, Margaret, Rosemary, oh, Alison, um, a jury maker in Gloucestershire, a jury maker in Derbyshire, Francis, jury maker in Surrey, Marion, uh, Anonymous jury maker, Irene, uh, jury maker in Cumbria. So, more of you are going to miss out than you're going to get this strand. MXKY49. Check out or miss out. Should we do the wee ones now? Oh, I'm, I'm in love so with the tiny. tiniest ones. They're so tiny and cute. I love the tiny teenies. I they're do they're too. small and feisty because they're so powerful. Yeah. Like us, you see. Yeah. I wish I was small and feisty. No, I'm, I'm feisty, but maybe not the small, I think. You're not tall, you're small. I am. I'm only ickle. Somebody said to me the other day, oh, you're quite tall like your mother. I said, no, I've shrunk two inches. Oh, used I used to, to be 5'6", but I'm now 5'4". I'm at that age and oh, stage yeah, in I'm your five, life. Oh, I'm 5'3 and a bit, so I just thought we were nearly... And that bit does count for a lot, you know, It everyone. does, yes. You were 5'11 before, were you? No, yes, five Lucy was 5'11". Yes, my oh, daughter's Lucy's... about the same height as her, and I don't know how I did that, because I'm tiny and she towers over me. And my son is so tall, it's ridiculous. He's not six foot yet, but he's only 14. He's going to be a six foot, oh. for sure. Well, but do you know, my son, though, didn't grow until he was 60. Well, really? I mean, he grew, but he wasn't then tall. Shot up, and then he? suddenly, and I used to go, oh, I wonder if he's going to be little like his father. And they said, no, no, no. You can actually tell if you're a, an osteopath or, or a physio, you have growth plates near your knee, and you can tell whether they're oh. closed or not. Really? And I always How used to say to Martin, can you check his growth plates again? They haven't stopped, has it? Suddenly, <laughs> bang! You know, it's like I've been feeding him on something special, you know. It's yeah, spinach. spinach, like, yeah. like Popeye. Popeye. Let's start the clock, because you know where this is going. We promised you that each one will get less and less and less price-wise. Under three pounds, is that what you just said in my ear? Yes, he did, everyone. Under three pounds, you but you've got to get there are quick. kidding. I started the clock at the end then, didn't I? I've just realised what I did. <laughs> Where have I been? I don't know. I'm so sorry. £2.95. Can we just stop a minute and ask ourselves this, like we did earlier? Open up your hand and visualise £2.95 in change. Can you park the car for three hours for £2.95? Not no. where I live. Can you go into a shop and buy lunch for two ninety five? No. Not unless I want to just have a bag of chips, which I do, but I'm not going to because we all know that's bad. Two ninety five in your hand. Now then, I want you to think about this. Before you joined us at Jewelry Maker, if you had two pounds and ninety five pence in your hand, would I? Would you say the words, "I've got two ninety five and I can buy genuine gemstones"? No. no? Do you know? You wouldn't. 
I, I, I was in the garden centre having lunch today. Mm. And Lucky you. I saw some of those triangular chocolates, right, from Triangular Bees. Um, and triangular bees? Triangular chocolate from triangular bees. Anyway, I saw this chocolate, you know, <laughs> like that. I love those. And they're making like little them, mountains. Yes, they're making them with people's names on. And I thought, oh, wouldn't that be nice? So I went to pick up four or five. They're a fiver apiece. Well, a little bar be. of chocolate. What, the small ones? The small ones, like that, five pounds. It's an outrage. If it's got Jenny on it, it's a fiver. Stop. I promise you. But you're only, but it's only a wrapper. You're not. I know. Oh dear. So I could. Would I rather have chocolate or smell? Well, I know what I'd rather have. Definitely, it's sold out and gone. So uh, well, well done to go. everyone. Other people would rather have spinel than chocolate. Indeed, too. indeed. Less calories. Yeah. I mean, right. if the spinel came with a little chocolate, that would also be good. Okay. So <laughs> when you put your gift that you've made in the spinel in a little organza bag, a little chocky. stick a chocky in. A little chocky. Oh, yum yum. Uh, if there's a preference and you're sending it to me for our Rocky, other no, other no, 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 chocolates no, no, no. are available. Oh, but like I just it. love those. Do you know you? when they did the giant one? Oh. Um, and I actually thought it was a giant one. I got so excited and I got it and I was like. <gasps> I opened it up. It wasn't a giant one. It was a uh, it was a plastic ball with loads of them in the middle of it. That's real swizz, isn't well, you it? could have cried. I bet you could. I nearly cried. Yeah. I like the 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 Lindory ones. Oh, actually. I love those. Oh God. Oh, I love those, but not as much as I love the Frau. Oh, I do. I actually saw them being made because when I went to see my son in in Cologne, that's where they got the chocolate um, museum for lint. And do they do what they do on the advert where it pours down? And oh, they go, it's just to die for, honestly. And you can keep eating them. The guy comes around and says, "Oh, would you like one of these?" They go, like, yes, yeah. please. Another, another, another. <laughs> like when you go to Cadbury Land. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, we know how to live, me and you, clashy oh, baby. we do, we do. Okay, you remember earlier we had the rainbow obsidian paw? Oh, yes. Well, that sold out, actually. If you got that, you'll want this. If you missed out on that, you'll, you'll want, want this. this. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you'll just want this. So we've got cute. so many scrummy things. Maybe tonight. you've got a princess or a prince of a dog or a cat or a pet that will take a collar. <gasps> and you think, I'm not putting stainless steel tags on my dog. I'm not. Don't I don't think me. lizards like collars. If you've got a lizard, you probably know it doesn't like a collar. I don't look. There's that 925 silver mark. It's on one side. It's silver. Isn't that oh, it's sterling silver? Oh. You could push you know your polymer clay through there if you wanted to. You could fill those little gaps if you wanted to, but how cute is that? Um, you could, if you've got a small pet's name, put it there. My but pet's called Maeve, Queen Maeve. Um, and mine's called Tilly, so I could manage that with Tilly. You tills. could manage. I couldn't put Queen Maeve on mine. Queen Maeve. Uh, because Call apparently Queenie, there were too many English you? things in my house, so she had to have a, an Irish name, so she's Queen Maeve. Maeve. Maeve's the night. Queen Maeve. Queen Maeve, look her up. WQR F83. This is £11.95. pence. It's your heart-shaped paw. Uh, maybe somebody's lost a pet and you want something um, to just show. You, you, this, this would be a great gift yes, to somebody to say, who's lost, th lost a um, pet. Thinking of you and thinking of... Yeah, I, I get that. Sorry, was I showing that right in your face? Yeah, everyone's getting glints. WQR F83. Is your idea? What's Wonder that, sorry? Woman. Queen Maeve was Wonder Woman. She was like Wonder Woman. It, to look at, to look at, are you saying? Let me see. Oh, they're all discussing who Queen Maeve is. She's, she's an Irish, you, you say mythological, you say myth, mythological queen, but you know, that's debatable. She was, <laughs> she looks nice, they're saying. I want to see her now. I'll show you. All right. There she is. Queen oh Maeve. Oh, my word. She does look like Wonder Woman. Yeah. Wonder Woman. That's it. She was the Empress of the Netherworld. OK. No, that's not the right one. That's not Queen, that's not Irish Queen Maeve, I don't think. <laughs> I'm sure that's not Irish Queen Maeve. No. She looks like a comic strip woman. Yeah, no, no. No, she looked like this. This is what she looked like. 
there. Oh, if you she go looks on like she's on a tarot card person, doesn't she? Yeah, no, she was strong-willed, ambitious, cunning and promiscuous. Oh, and she was the cheeky, warrior queen. Cheeky um, mix she is. So Queen Maeve um, is the queen um, in the Ulster cycle of Irish mythology. Yes. Yeah. There you go. So that's, that's, my, that's my dog. She's Queen Maeve, okay? Right. <laughs> now, we're going to continue on. You don't care what my dog's called, do you? Uh, let's continue on to give you some more gorgeous things. <gasps> oh, I love this! Look, Clashy! Oh, isn't that pretty? It's gorgeous. It's so elegant. Do you know, wouldn't that make a wonderful bridesmaid's present? I adore it. Bride as well. Well, or a bride, yes. Look at all the true. sterling silver. And look at all the sparklers on it, too. Oh, I love this. It's so pretty. Isn't it beautiful? So you've got cubic zirconia and a genuine white pearl. I think that is absolutely beautiful. Doesn't that all you've got expensive? to do is put... Yeah, straight onto a silver necklace. That's all I'd do with wow. that. Gorgeous. I agree. Do you know what? What a great Christmas present for somebody. My daughter's obsessed with pearls. Is she? And she loves them, which is funny, isn't it? Because she's 18. Yeah. Mind uh, you, you work for the right channel, don't you? Well, when I said I was coming back here, she went, yes, let me now and get all that lovely jewellery again. Oh, God bless her. I was like, yeah, yeah. At uh, £6.95, no. didn't really do jewellery before, did cardstock. I was just going to say, <laughs> cardstock on cards. cardstock. She can't card wear a card, can she? Not really. I mean, we all love a good card. I do. I, got, do. I, did, I did get right into it. I love, I I love uh, card crafting. Is it, paper crafting is great. Uh, Q, C, G, and I love, a bit, I love quilting as well. Oh, yes. I think if you're any kind of crafter, if you're making jewellery... Try other crafts as well. I think it's great. So, you know, seed beading is 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 like sewing, and then so it you might want to take your yeah. Uh, maybe try a little bit of sewing as well. Six pounds and ninety five pence. Q C G E P ninety two. Wonderful. I love this. I really. I'm a big fan of this one. Maria, you've got yours. Alison, you've got yours. Maureen, uh, jewelry maker in London. Uh, Regina in New York. This one. One of these York, going to, all York. the way to New York. We've got something special. Oh, that's Doo -da, lovely. Doo -da. Ooh, lovely. I was looking at that and admiring that. Do you know how much I want to take this home with me? Because do you know something? Can you just Lots. imagine this? Go on. Imagine a backless <gasps> dress. Yes, yes. Put this on and yeah. let this part go down the back. Ooh, sexy. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Look at this gold chain. It's very sassy. It's isn't it? wonderful. It's a slider chain. So you can slide this down and make it much more open if you wanted to. I love it. It's coming up for you. How long have we got to wait? Uh, just over half an hour. It's first uh, first item that we're going to give you at nine o'clock. Don't you love it? Do you love it? I love I that. I've like never seen that. that here either, so I I'm quite excited. Seen that either. Now, when we ooh, that's pretty. You, you kind of just want to. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, why would you do anything other than that? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry, what? sorry. Um, if you... <laughs> sorry, I get terribly excited oh, about oh, things. What? Oh, 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 oh. Um, <laughs> if you did the Hubble, do you know... The sorry, Hubble? The Hubble stick. The Hubble is this. Oh, this is the Hubble oh, stick. in a choker, yes, in, please. And then you can put one of those in. So we've just been doing hubbling. I'm just going to lift this up for you. Yes. <gasps> oh, you wait till you can hubble. Yeah, you want to hubble. Yeah. Come on, that is gorgeous. Wouldn't Take me to the ball and dance fabulous. with me all night. Oh, Look at Prince, that. Prince. Take oh, me. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Woohoo! Now, wouldn't that be fab? Oh, I love it. That is gorgeous, by the way. Amazing. <sighs> you are you. amazing. Thank you. We don't have loads of these. There are, uh, oh, I'll tell you what this would be good for outside Go of that. I Go know on. we were like, why would you do anything else? Yeah. But take one of these. Yes. Long <gasps> chain. You know the pendulum, uh, pendulum necklaces that are uh, worn and used by spiritual healers. Yes. Now I do. I'm. I'm not saying spiritual healing is the way forward. This, that, or the other. I'm just saying it is a thing. We know about it, and we know that that happens. I'm not pushing it on anyone. I promise. I know I talk about it a lot, and I'm sorry if I annoy you. 
Uh, but think of my family. Think how much I must annoy them too. But the thing is, I know I'm annoying, so I'm halfway there. Well, that's now, fine. So that's okay then. Yeah, isn't that's it? acceptable. It's when you don't know you're yeah, annoying. Yeah, indeed. Do you of know course, what I mean? Of course. Uh, that you become even more annoying. These in a crown. These are beautiful. So Amazonite. Oh. Amazonite gives us the most incredible colours. Look at they're quite unique as well. Very cool. Fabulous. You'll notice one thing actually. They're double drilled as well. Which means you yeah. can bead around them. You can see here. So to have them double drilled is a they delight, isn't drilled. it? They're double drilled, all right. Well, do you know, all that you need to do if you want to create a curve with a double drill is you put two beads in between one mm -hmm. and one bead at the top. Oh, and it brings it in. Well, it, yeah, it will curve it then, won't it? It's just like, like science, you know. The... Not the science of the lambs, no. no. It, 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 <laughs> That's it's what it's just director. what happens if you put... Two in one and one at the other. You're you're creating that a fan, a fan. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's just that's, the way it is. That's just ge geometry, it's really. It's beadery, is beadery. what it is. It's utter beadery. Absolutely, total beadery. Total beadery. I like beadery. I know you're a master of beadery. I'm a mistress of beadery. You certainly are. Le maître de beadery. Oh, oui. The marquise de beadery. I don't know what's happened. <laughs> that was like, might make you go a little bit do lally. Yeah. We can't guarantee it won't. Oh, now, let's show you what the else, difference. What else have we got? The same but different. Because <gasps> look, these oh. are beaded and again a pendulum. A little friend of this one. Well, look, because isn't this interesting? Oh, these are double ended. Now? They're double ended. Well, these you are... could, now, would you hang them this way so i'm going to show you sorry we're clashing and i are hogging them so straight through the middle which that. makes me want to just hug it in the middle and put it into a ring yes i think that sounds fantastic and that could then match the the necklace that you've just yes. made with this but you'd only need one of them well do you know you could oh you know that what you did earlier the ring you gave me earlier would yes, yes 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 the... yes oh, it would be great oh, for that that would be very good so, uh, oh. tune in tomorrow to see this yeah. um I think you could oh, wrap like around. That. I think you'd use that. You'd use that in a ring. They work well in tiaras, yes, but because they're drilled through the centre, you sort of want to take advantage of that, don't you? They're gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fourteen ninety-five RDV R forty-five, brilliant price, fantastic opportunity for you. And, and and look at this. So they're separated by four beads in between. But in fact, actually, Clashy, what you could do Ooh. is just take all the beads out, yes. bring them really close together, and put them into a bracelet. Oh yes. And actually, that's a great idea, isn't it? Because you wouldn't have any gap there. They'd be right tight next Hunker, to each Hunker. other. Like you could put one black actually. Now. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, actually, I'm not a wire weaver at all, but if you wove around snake each in one, between, like, yes, yeah, yeah. snaked in between, you could pull them all together, like, like a, a marvellous sort of ladder of loveliness, really. A ladder of loveliness. There she goes with her beadery again. Yeah. Beading turn. A ladder of loveliness. Oh, there's a lot you could do with that because of the uh, the drilling, isn't there? Fourteen ninety five is a great price. Beautiful gemstone. Now let's continue. Now let's give you a bit of pizzazz in your life, shall we? A little bit of jazz, oh, darling. A little bit I of jazz and pizzazz. This. Why not? Oh. Why not? I think anybody that bought the black spinel would be in for this because this <sighs> is um, very glamorous. Very, very glamorous. Glam. Very peacocky. We've two peacocks, a pea hen and a peacock, Have roaming you? around the uh, the farm at the moment. How divine! They're gorgeous. Beautiful. Look at these. This is definitely the party season, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, you want to stitch these, don't you? Look at them together, Kleshner. Aren't they oh, gorgeous? Those. Do you know what? I would either Hubble or I do right angle weave, and I just do those three Ooh. absolutely perfectly together. Right angle weave. I'd make a stripy bracelet. Aren't they lovely? If you've got the bead loom, these would work really nicely, wouldn't they? Would they would be fab on the bead loom. But I, I mean, individually, you could nestle them in between something. Like, again, like a pearl or a big yes. round. But I just love them in a piece. Ooh, I think they'd be great. Go the on. amethyst that we had earlier. Which uh, one? Which one? Any of them. I mean, seriously, I don't The little it... rondelles we had some... Yes, oh, it's sold out. Oh, 14... How did that... that fiddle dee dee. Fiddle dee dee. Fiddle dee dee. I tell you... 
but buy them now, because I'm sure we'll sell amethyst again. We will. Uh, that oh, songia oh, sapphire. Oh, it's beautiful. Is it songia? Oh. All different tones. Multicolored sapphire, beautiful. beautiful. Aren't they the subtlety of that? Do you know it's a softness, like it's bringing me down, like it's making me whisper a bit because oh, I can understand. This is soft and feminine and beautiful. It epitomizes. Like cast. Yeah, of like course. Cast, like, yeah, of course. <laughs> Wallflowers. Yeah. Um, really exquisitely beautiful and really different to anything that's out there on the market, I think. Uh, you've got the sunshine in there, you've got the that wonderful lavender tone in there. All the different tones of sapphire, completely natural. Beautiful. Don't you think? This is uh, from Madagascar, multicolour sapphire. Oh, it's so pretty. You know, I've got to go this to Madagascar. Gorgeous. There's so I'll many wonderful you. things that come from that country, aren't oh, I'll there? come with you. I'll come All right. with you. Just keep you safe. Done. Multifacets. Look at look at those teeny, teeny, teeny facets. Oh, it's gorgeous. That's an, you'd want to wear that to your wedding day, wouldn't you? It's beautiful. You Mother would. of the bride. This is a very special piece of jewellery. Something to hand down mm -hmm. from generation to generation. Rosary link these in gold or silver. Oh, yes. Put these channel set them. Put them in a ring. Put them in a bracelet. Put them so you can see them. Keep them for special. Go and get them valued. By the way, I haven't mentioned in this whole lecture, and I apologise massively for every genuine gemstone that you buy from us here at Jewelry Maker, you are entitled to either download for free a certificate of authenticity that gives you all of the details of the gemstone strand uh, that you've bought, or the loose gemstone, or whatever it is you bought, or you can add it to your order and it will come in a card format. It's only 25 pence. Then if you wanted to take it to get it valued, you've got your certificate, and I think you'll be delighted when you go and get it valued because today you are purchasing 25 carats of beautiful natural sapphire for 59.95 zgj n24 this is a beautiful example of sapphire for those very very high end pieces and this is for you if you create high end this is for you if you aspire to create high end this is for you if you just like to collect gorgeous gemstones birth gemstones september's birth gemstone gorgeous sapphire there's only three of these left now and we have you with this in baskets we have you on the phone line so do make sure you check out otherwise you're going to miss out on that one 25 carats all three of you just says collector now aquamarine my chair's making funny noises that is oh, it does i just it want to make chair. sure that that is my you, chair it is only her chair we don't want to start her. that. It's been on in the news anyway this oh, yes, week yes, as it yes, is, yes. for goodness it has, sake. No. It? Now, Aquamarine is one of my all-time favourites. If Beautiful. you're mad into Subtle things that Clashner and I are into, this is a gemstone said to amplify love, said to um, bind a, a marriage as well. And it can re in, reignite the flames of love. It was used traditionally in, um, in engagement rings, actually, before that big diamond campaign out there. But this is a birth gemstone too, first and foremost. It's the birth gemstone of March. That's me. Oh, when were you born? I was born on March the 29th. 29th. So are you? I'm in Harry's. You're in Harry's, the ram. Oh, the ram. We've got a lot of rams oh, in the we're, building. We're, we're all March babies. Everybody, uh, when are not you? Not me, not, I'm, I'm actually April. Oh, are you? Yeah. Well, there you go. I'm a Taurus. Uh, my Emma, daddy was a Torian. Was he? Yes, lovely man. Bull in a, bull in a china shop. Yeah. That's yeah. me. I'm 27th of April. 14.95 for this. Oh. Aquamarine. Beautiful soft blue. This is your something blue on your wedding day, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. I want to keep this together, though. I, I love that. I, I love the way the clarity and the, that, that wonderful swimming pool blue just comes through. These are so pretty. Aren't they? Mozambique, they're from. 40 carats and they're totally natural. It's like the sort of Maldives or have you ever been that exotic colour of that mm. water which is on top Gorgeous. of that white sand? It just. I've never been anywhere like that. I'd love I to go. I have to tell you, I was very privileged once to go there. And the most extraordinary thing is when you fly out of it on a, on a plane, you want to look down because. Because of the white sand and then the depth of the water, you get all these incredible graduating colours of blue and it's just oh, breathtaking. It's so beautiful. Oh, I want to go so bad. No, it's really, really exquisite. That's sold out. I'm not surprised. 
Okay, we're gonna give you something now that is a kit ready to go. Uh, we've had these for the past month or so because they've been really popular in the high streets. I think you can work these into home decor. There is a demonstration on our Facebook page, I think it is, of how you can make these into a macrame bracelet, but you've got the cord and you've got um, you've got the silver the silver beads as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven beads. Oh, there's so, a holiday waiting to happen. Well, it's there, de isn't definitely. It? Oh, you should have ten beads. Sorry, um, definitely holiday jewelry, isn't it? And 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 you know what? You're going to really appeal to the the younger spectrum of your customers because Absolutely. this is a real. I mean, if you go to Topshop, Selfridge, H and M, any of those sort of high street stores then you'll see a lot of this kind of shell jewellery. Now, this is a uh, coated cowrie shell. So there's actual cowrie shell underneath. And you've got the uh, thread to use these as well. FOG P14. They're really interesting. They're really different. They are. Five they're beautiful five. with um, silver in between too. It's good to have an alternative. You might have a certain style. Um, and, and, and do you know what? You might think, oh, actually, do you know what? I am going to a festival and I'm going to be selling jewellery there. There's going to be a lot of trendy, you know, young ones that I could sell my jewellery. Then, you know, this is, this is something that you might need to Absolutely consider. Absolutely fabulous. Mm -hmm. and Actually, do you know the other thing about this which is so nice is it could be a little portable project that you do. Yeah. Um, you know, you might want to sort of do it whilst you're on the bus. I know it sounds like a mad thing to say, but whilst you're on the bus on the way on to the coach. work. On the coach. My mum gets the coach to my house. It takes her two and a half hours. Well, she's a love coach. A mega bus. I don't know. She's a coach. Oh, oh, I don't know what it is. Uh, it's not a mega bus, it's a, it's a National Express. Other coaches are available, like a mega bus. Uh, five pound, not the Venga bus though, she's not getting on there. The Venga bus is coming. Do you remember that? No. <laughs> oh, we're going to Ibiza. Ah, uh, the Caribbean Sea. Ooh. Back Ooh. to the island. Wait a minute. It's the Mediterranean Sea, isn't it? Oh, yes, I Mediterranean suppose. Mediterranean Sea. Oh. Stop, we can't afford it. The Venga, the Venga boys are coming. If we... It was, eh, we're going to, to Barbados. Ibiza. Ibiza. The Caribbean Sea. Oh, yeah, okay. but that's what it was originally. Oh, is originally. that where it comes from yes, originally? Yes, it does, yes. Oh, well, then I apologise. I do apologise. I was, going... I was singing goodness knows what. Shane, coming up at nine o'clock. We've had a lot of inquiries about this. Nine oh, o'clock. Hardly surprising. I am very excited about this because I think it's blooming gorgeous. It is. Let's have a look. It that, is. Um, that white bust is making it look a little bit non-existent, like the French and Saunders sketch. Have you seen it when they do shopping telly oh. and they pick up a chain and it's, oh my gosh, literally makes me cry with like, I love French and Saunders so much. They're doing like, um, they're doing shopping TV and they pick up something that you can't see and they're like, this is so fine, you just can't... Like it's so fine and clothes. so light. <laughs> just, there's nothing there. <laughs> Thank you for your black bust. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, darling. I just think it, you can see it a bit better. It's a because bit Because it like, is there, I promise like you. Like the Emperor's New Clothes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. isn't it? You know, when someone says, look at the king, look at the king, and everyone's going... I starred in The Emperor's New Clothes oh, and I was the emperor oh. um, in, a, in a family production of it. Oh, uh, me and my cousin sweet. Laura, who were both the youngest, yeah. did The Emperor's New Clothes. And my family, like, you know when you're, we come from a really big family, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So all my cousins, we used to all, I think I've got like 20 cousins. So oh, we were all, word. used to do productions all the time. How lovely. Right, it was brilliant. So we were all at my granny's house and there's loads of us and oh. every Christmas we'd do a play. Yeah. We'd go away and there was loads of us, big age gaps, you know. So me and Laura, who were the youngest, they're doing the Emperor's New Clothes and then we come through the door totally nudie. But it oh, was filmed sweet. and oh I, my, my mum kept showing everyone so and, and I taped over it with balls I, I was eyes. just going to say you destroyed it. I... She shouldn't have kept showing and I wish she hadn't because you should have... No, all, all of my family, my aunts and I, because they were crying with laughter because me and my cousin came out like, woo -hoo -hoo! Of course, we were like five. We didn't care. You know when you don't but, care. But then, then when they show it and you're, you're like 12 or 13, you're, you're like, oh, God. I had the same thing. We used to have four apple trees in the garden. And it was after my birthday, and we'd all run around under... The, you know how they used to put the hose on? And yeah, you'd yeah, run, and you'd run in the garden. You had all these four little kids naked behind an apple tree. And my mother used to bring this out time and time again. Yeah, and you like, destroy that photo. I did. Yeah. Actually, and you I wish put you it in a telephone directory. 
Do you remember when telephone? Oh, we don't like have a, telephone like directories anymore, yeah. but I put it in the middle of one of the telephone directories to hide it because I was so embarrassed by it. Well, and nowadays, I, and then I you, think it was and then hilarious. And you wish you hadn't. Yeah, I, I know. know. We all do it. We all yeah. do it. Now, <laughs> I'm going to continue on. Oh, you'll it's, like this, Clashy. Oh, is it lovely? Mm, it's right, lovely. What? Oh, oh. It we just, oh, where are those those miracle things we said should have gone with the amethyst? Oh, I'm up now. I'm out of my seat now. Sorry, I'm going to stay. Out of seat now. That's better, actually. You see, look at that with the amethyst. We sold out there, didn't we? Look at these, that. though. Yes, <gasps> that one sold out. But this going on to £10, I want you to think about prong setting rings because, look, oh. you've got the coulé up, coulé up. You've got them sort of bottom up there. To, yeah. Sorry, that's a lot of bottoms in a couple of minutes, isn't it? But look, then, smooth on that side. Prong set these. They're oh, rings, aren't they? Aren't they beautiful? Gorgeous. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Six, so. Absolutely wonderful. They're right. Look at the colour. Beautiful. Color. Aren't they stunning? Aren't they stunning? I love this strand. Did, well, say that again, what you said to me about the price. Under £10? This is amethyst, 65 carats. Do you remember what I was telling you about rings that were um, made, that were uh, worn still to this day? Anyone associated with the church? Um, Ameth, yes. anti-alcohol, uh, because, of course, um, you can't get drunk, can you, if you're... If you're in the clergy. No, no, darling. No, it's not, it's not it's a not done, done thing. You have to you have to swear sobriety, don't you? So Ooh, absolutely. Well, I I know I know I you're allowed to drink drink because you have to drink for blood of Christ. And so you're allowed to drink, but you're not allowed to get drunk. You're not allowed to get drunk. That's the thing. Well, blood of Christ isn't actual alcohol. It is in my church. I don't know. I you know not when you're a kid. They don't give it you. No, no, it is. I was brought up that way too. Uh, 65 carats. Uh, somebody asked me what the difference between being a Catholic was the other day and being Christian, and I said, the services are about 20 times longer if you're a Catholic. You are they, there forever. They are, aren't they? Yeah. And uh, my other half is, is, is still a Catholic. He's very uh, practicing is Catholic. Is he practicing? Well, yeah. you, I say practicing. He'll go to mass yeah. or go to confession. That's about it. Okay. Come on, I need to go to confession. I'm like, Ugh. what have you done? You then Do you want to say, go to mass? It's seven o'clock on a Sunday. I, I don't, but okay, fine. Yes, all right. I'll come with you, darling. F A V R eighty four. And my son's now spit in feathers because he hasn't got a confirmation to go to, and and all of his friends have got a thousand pounds. Oh <laughs> right. Uh, uh, it's like, one well, reason, darling. To I know, go, yeah, yes. I like, mm, made the right choice though. Now, um, now, anyhow, I'm going to pop those there. I love those. Where did these spheres come from, please? These amazing spheres of fluorite. Oh, those are lovely. Is this I'm one a fluorite or is. is it a dog tooth amethyst? Both fluorite. I mean, because these, I just want to show you. And they drill they hold at the fabulous. top. They're pendulums. Loving the pendulums. This, 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 and this. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Aren't they lovely? They're fabulous. I mean, it's this. This is this is why we love gemstones, right? Things like this. I think so. Anyway, I they're just, coming up later. I just love pendulums, actually. I mean, I love me the too. shape of it. But you and me are a bit spiritual, yeah, so we I are, think we that's are. why oh, we're best, a bit like that. My best friend is is mega. Is she? Oh yes, yeah. she's she she's an energy kinesiologist. She what specializes. On earth? Oh, what is that? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you all about that in the break. Oh, okay. Yes. Great. And actually, what's happening now, I think, is a lot of orthodox uh, people, medicine people, are learning alternative I things. I hope so. I think, well, I they, think they it's have a, open our mind out. They have courses. I mean, it's, it's mm. an American company, but they have a very specialised course mm. that people from all over the world go to. It's a four-year course. Wow. Yeah. Do you know J.K. Rowling um, described her friends when she was talking about how hard her journey was to yeah. where she went? She said it was um, a combination of willpower and having friends as precious as rubies. Look at this strand. Precious rubies. Because rubies are precious, aren't they? Absolutely. They're a precious gemstone. They're a gemstone that we know. This and emerald, very big favourites of Henry VIII. Yes. Um, 
who was a man that we know liked to show off his power and his extravagance in many different ways. Now, these are ideal for gallery wire. In gold, Beautiful. in a ring. They're ideal in their shape to pop into your silver clay. And because you've got that drill hole, you can utilize that. Having these kind, now I've, this is a very unique strand of rubies because of the shape and the size. I don't think we've seen very many rubies that sit so well and behave so nicely against oh, the skin in this manner. They aren't they? Aren't they? And they're graduated in this exact shape and size. And can I just draw your attention to the smaller ones? And can I just get you to imagine putting these into stud earrings? Because I think Beautiful. they're perfect for that. You'll get pairs because just take the other side of the strand up. I think they're perfect for stud earrings, gallery wire stud earring, perfect. Beautiful. Use your jewelry glue to glue on the back of a, a sterling silver with a gold overlay. I like rubies with gold, but I they agree. do go with silver as well. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Red and gold are such a regal combination, they? Aren't really they? are. Beautiful rubies, 34.95. What a wonderful way to spend a day jewelry making with a genuine strand of rubies, not 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 a one carat of ruby, which is great, not five carats, which is amazing, but seventy five carats of wow. real ruby. Yeah, and this is Indian ruby, really rich, rich, gorgeous red tones. Look at that wonderful deep rouge that you're getting there. Lovely colour of mm. ruby this is too. Typical. You can you can really tell it's ruby the minute you see it yes. as well. Yes. And that's really nice because you want people to know you're wearing ruby, don't you? It's kind of like a Morello cherry, isn't yeah. it? You know that wonderful shine you get on Morello cherries? Yeah, yeah. That glacier. Yes. Um, I think you could, put, you could put a halo of something twinkly around them. Oh. These, these are... Um, that oval works really well with something sparkling around it, doesn't it? Yes. Gorgeous. I yes. mean, ideally, you'd want some sparkling diamonds, but we can't have it all, darling. No. Uh, in fact, I'll tell you what you could do. Where's our Tinas? There they are, the teeny weenies. If you bought the spinel oh, yes. earlier, I, I should like to make a halo of spinel around these. It's going to be pretty difficult to just... But, you know, that just works. The spinels are sold out, but if you manage to get them... If you were one of the lucky it, ones... Yeah, I think that would look nice. What do you think? They're gorgeous, aren't they? I think they're fine. They're beautiful. Now we're going to give to you. Oh, stretching over. Hasn't it gone? Just like I, that. You know, I have to tell you. But it's got an hour and ten minutes left. Where has like the that? time gone? We've been gas bagging left, we right, have, and centre. Well, we've had so much fun with you guys, actually. Gas bagging evening. means talking. Oh. Chin wagging, so gas much bagging. Fun. No, not the other. And it's because they've joined us, isn't it, too? Everybody's joined us. We're having a brilliant time. I hope you're well, having a brilliant nice time. We've nice messages. We have, haven't we? Yeah. We have a good old yeah. time here. Really? Don't tell them. Don't tell them we have a good time. No, no, please don't tell, tell them they're paying We're us at work, darling. It's ever so difficult. Two so ninety-five. Two ninety-five for Black Agate. Again, I, I, think you've, I, think, I think you've had some amazing opportunities to make some money as jewellery makers at Sell On. Um, my opinion is that, for yeah. sure, for sure. Um, stretchy bracelets, earrings. Beautiful size. Do you know what? Wish bracelets, six. one of these, I do apologise, yeah. continue on. No, no, no. Are they, these are six mil. They mm. are absolutely perfect size. You can um, macrame them. You can knot them. Yeah. Oh, gosh, there's an interminable amount of things you can do with these. And as Jenny was saying earlier, if you got the spinner. If you've got the spinel in between, it nestles. Yeah. And you've got a gorgeous piece that hasn't cost you a lot and you could charge a pretty penny for. WNG P59. I just see the price. I know. I know. That's what I'm saying. Oh, my lordy, lordy. It's Lork's alive. Lork's alive. 0800 644 for your calling. Jerrymaker.com if you're webbing or if you're apping. Tap it. Wow. Oh. Tap, Tap the old app. Yeah. Uh, what did you say, Ross? I wasn't listening at all. <laughs> Can you see my Jane again? Oh. Okay. Oh, hang on. Let me just... I love doing the slide a bit on this. I just want to open it out a bit more. Make it more like a Y. Oh, I love it. Beautiful. Very, very sexy, actually, I think. It is a bit sexy, sort of, isn't it? A bit sassy, that sort of a mm -hmm. thing, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Backless frock. Well, yeah. you could either do it backless and around the back, yes. or... If you had something that went all the way down oh, yes, like this. Yes, if you had one of those naughty front frocks, which I sadly could never wear. I couldn't either. I'd have to tape it all in. Yeah. 
I think tape more than tape for me. But anyway, we won't go into Hey, there's a lot of things tape can do. Don't knock the tape. Okay. All you right. can tape yourself into anything. There and, you, you know, if you use tape, you can lift and stick, you know. Where does it go? On your back. No one's looking at that. <laughs> it's brilliant. Masking yeah. tape can do a lot of things, oh, let me tell you. Oh, masking tape too. Yeah, just put it there and pull it all the way back. Oh, it's like we're 17 again. Ooh, fun. <laughs> so much fun being 17 uh, again. Do you remember it? Oh, 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 I, can't, oh. I haven't got the energy for it. I haven't got the If someone oh. said, do you want to go back and be 17? I'd be like, no thanks. Well, if you had the energy of a 17-year-old, then it would be fine, wouldn't would it? Would it? I don't know, I don't know. I See, I'm like... planning on living till I'm 123, so. Oh, 123, is yeah, that I'm okay. I want to do, yeah, I want to do that. I have a friend who's 99. <gasps> do you? Yeah, she's lovely. What were you asking for there, Ross? Oh, okay. He's good. asking for number seven. Come in, number seven, your time Of is course, up. you don't know what these numbers are when you're at home, do you? I always think that. Oh. So we have everything back here in lots of boxes. Yes, with we numbers do. on. It drives me crackers, that does, actually. I can understand we won't mention that. it. Um, oh, I big, love that. chunky, flamboyant amethyst. These are Ooh. stunning. I think these would lend themselves in home decor very nicely indeed. I agree. If you have a stand yeah. at a jewellery fair or at a Christmas fair or at a spring fair and you wanted to just show off the fact that you use gorgeous gemstones, you could put these in a glass bowl, a skinny, skinny, skinny glass bowl, yes. fill it up with genuine gemstones. These are so decorative. Oh, Clash is saying, put it on a ring. If you liked Look, it, then you should have made a ring out yes, of it. Absolutely. Works with your purple is the colour of creativity, they say, yeah. don't they? Malilic um, nail polish. Lilac. Right, these are going under twenty pounds. If you space if you want to space them out, you can oh, knock them. Yes, look at those with that. If I think again, if you're into your healing and you like, to, if you're the sort of person mm. that likes to energize stones on a full moon, let's put it that way. Oh yes. Are you that person? Are you out in the garden with your gemstones? Are you asking the moon to uh, cleanse them and oh, energize them? Oh well, yes. I no, you don't dance around a campfire nude. See, this is the thing. This is the thing. It's not like that. You're you're just. Energizing. That's what they say to do anyway. I'm not pushing it. Please again, please again. That might be what your other half does, but anyway. Um, <laughs> these are ideal for you. And you've got a lot on the strand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty one. Twenty one on your strand. Yeah. Now you could sell those for about five pounds each. Oh. What's of five course. times twenty one, please, Rossi? That's £105, minus £14.95, please. No, no, mi minus £14.95. Just do it again. So that's a £90 and five pence profit if you want to sell them individually. For Very £5. nice. I think we'll take that. I think I'll have that. I think I'll have a bit of that. One day, yeah. Rodders, we shall be millionaires. Yay. CXKY37. Let's hope we, we dream, don't we? We dream of it. We all... But only if it comes to us in a nice way. Oh, of course. Yeah, because sometimes you can wish for things and then you'll wish yes, you hadn't yes, wished for them. I was just going to say yes. Mm. Well, you could get it in a horrible way because you've lost someone and inherited it. Or you could get it because you were compensated for something horrible that's happened to you. So if you ask for it to come to you in a nice way. Ask for the millions to enter the nice door, not... Yes. Not the naughty Not the door. doom door. Um, anyway, again, these are mythological doors. I don't know if they're there or not, but sometimes I ask for them. Uh, message coming in from a fellow <laughs> Loonberger, I shouldn't wonder. Ah, oh, it's Sel from the Shire. I can't see it on my thingy. I'm just waiting for it. Hi, Jenny and Kleshner. Hello, I darling. bought these a few weeks back and they are fab you -less. I might turn them into a Christmas. Yes, Elle! We'll come and wow. see that in the Forest of Dean, won't we, Clashy? Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll trip trap over Simmons Yacht Bridge and we'll be there. Oh, Simmons Yacht. Have you been there? It's, it's, a, my... it's a rickety, rickety, rickety bridge. Yeah, Simmons uh, Yacht. It's brilliant. It's not far from here. You should go. Oh. Brilliant. Oh. Love, lovely walk across the Forest of Dean. Is it? Now, what are we doing here, Ross, now? Oh, it's... See, it's gone like that again. It's gone too quick. 
Uh, the chain is coming up very shortly for you, so don't go Love anywhere it. because uh, we're going straight after the break. And then cleshi has got some more kits to take us into the last hour. You're going to love, you're going to love, you're going to love. Don't go anywhere because the fun, the lunacy and the jewellery making continues after this. Hello, guest designer Fleur here. Welcome to my studio. I'm happy to announce that this Friday it's Fleur Day, a whole day for me. So we've got the whole day split into three categories. So our morning show will be all about our classics, where we've got some beautiful hand-selected pearls. So Marie and Caroline have selected the pearls for their beauty and their size and their luster. We've also got sterling silver French wire, which is very important to finish those pieces off beautifully. In the mid-show, we've got stretchy bracelets, so perfect gift ideas. We've got sterling silver gold-plated and rose gold-plated sterling silver spacer beads and a beautiful pearl pendant. And then in the late show, it's back to basics. So we've got some beautiful gold colored pearls, which are absolutely fabulous to work with. We're gonna be using all of our findings. We're gonna be doing things like wrapped loops. We've also got a kit with 100 sterling silver featherweight head pins as well. I'm gonna show you what you can do when you finish with them. So join me on Friday all day from nine in the morning till 10 at night. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you'd like more information on up and coming shows, you can view the program guide on our website. Did you know that if you go to JewelryMaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that when you book a Jewellery Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewellery Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. 
For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. You can watch our Jewellery Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's time Ooh. to get a little bit fine, actually. <sighs> it is time to get fine. This is serious finesse, isn't it? It's serious finesse. It's serious jeweller business mm -hmm. here going on because we are talking about a fine, solid gold slider chain. Now, it's not very often here at Jewelry Maker we have solid gold. We often have silver uh, with a wonderful gold overlay, but this is solid gold. It's beautiful. It's a fine chain. It's a very unique chain. I think you'd struggle to find this anywhere else. It has a wonderful slider mechanism that I'm going to show you. I'm just going to take it this way. And this is what you want. You want it to work really finely. So you just literally, I'm going to have to, hang on a minute. I, I don't want to break it. So you literally just slide it down and you could go all the way down there by sliding, but then simply, if you wanted to make it a choker, go all the way back up. Now this could work in many ways. Now I'm just gonna move it back upwards. So I'm just gonna move it towards me because I, I can't do it without looking at it. So you just simply zip it up. Really simply zip it up. Right, turn it around. Beautiful. Now I want you to imagine a backless dress. <gasps> totally up to here on the front and then all the way down at the back. And then I want you to imagine that you've got this necklace on as a choker style and that that long, long length of gold Oof. just here is going all the way down your back. 
How beautiful is that on your wedding day? Maybe you want to pop a little pearl on the end oh, yes. together with the, where that heart is. So let's have a look, because you've got that detail as well. You've got that detail there. Now, if you want to put an initial in there, you can. If you want to detach it and put that somewhere else and put something else on the end of this necklace, you can. Now, we only have a handful of these remaining. These have been so, so popular. Only a few, how many were made? A few hundred. Oh gosh, is that all? It was really limited. 30 of these. I don't know why I had it in my head that we had 200. I do apologize. Only 30 of these were ever made. We have the last remaining 11 of them. We've only got 11. Only 11 opportunities for you. And let me tell you, hundreds of you have been shopping with us this evening. Oh. Hundreds wow. of you. We're gonna give you a fantastic price. Nine karat gold, pure nine karat gold. Solid nine karat gold. This is a slider curb chain. So remember, you can take this from the top and open it out even further, as far as, as it can go if you wanted to and have an over the head style. And the fact is, you don't really need to use that um, bolt ring chain because if you wanted to, you could put this over the head and then slide it up. So that's actually really good if the recipient has dexterity issues because you can have it like this. I've just slid it down. And just Beautiful. pop it straight over the head. It's pretty, isn't it? But then think about this. Are you gonna put a gemstone here? Are you gonna leave it as it is? Are you gonna use sections of this chain? Maybe put a pearl in between just sporadically here and there. There are quite a few famous pieces of jewelry that are doing that just at the moment, aren't there? I'm gonna take it around the back so that you can see um, this lovely tight, almost like a tight knit on this curb chain. And what that does is it gives it a fantastic metallic luster, which you can see, can you? Can you Absolutely see? Yes, you can. beautiful. It also has the most wonderful drape on it because of its length. Mm -hmm. You could it's, have it asymmetric. We were doing that earlier, yeah. Tashna and I. It, it, it's almost like it's diamond faceted, the yeah, chain, isn't it? Is, it? Isn't it? it? It just sparkles. like It's like fairy dust has been thrown at it almost. I love that because it really ekes elegance it and does. finesse. And sophistication. And of course, this is going to last for as long as you take care of it because it's real gold. It's nine karat gold. There will be no tarnishing here. IGIL63. Only 11 of you can be successful in this. A 22 inch. It's over half a metre. You've got 56 centimetres. So that is over half a metre. Think about, think about a metre. You've got, you've got over half a metre of chain here for under £60. How much would that be if you tried to find this in a jeweller's? Would it be easy to find? I don't think it no. would, would it? I don't think it would, actually, because um, it's so long. How much could you sell this for if you were selling it on? I mean, you've got to ask yourself all these questions and then think, yes, this is a great opportunity. OK, listen, we've only got a few of these left now. I can't see the names, actually. Uh, we've only got a few left. Ross just telling me you've only, I've, I've only got a, a very few left. Uh, you need to be quick. £59.95, I-G-I-L-63. We've got kits coming up for you next. Now, you're going to need to all check your baskets out. Uh, a lot of unchecked baskets going on at the moment. £59.95 gets this chain home to you for that very special piece of jewellery. Isn't it fabulous? Absolutely gorgeous. Right, now I want to introduce you to Kleshner's amazing pieces of jewellery yet again. Uh, now, Kleshi, you're, you're just, again, giving us some fantastic techniques. This one, you're going to promise us that you can wrap any kind of shape Absolutely and size. Absolutely anything. Honestly, I call this the shape-shifting bezel. Wow. Um, and as you can see here, I've got three different sizes. And actually, just to prove a point, I've um, I picked up two different um, pieces of fluorite here on my board. Okay. Just moving, moving my black. Oh, am I going there we over go. here? There we go, Ducky. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right. Um, it is. It, it's a very simple technique, but it's a very useful one to know. Um, but 
you know, I've actually done these. I mean, the packet of, of fluorite is one, two, three, four, five. How many? How many um, carrots is is of fluorite do we get uh, in this picture? We're just going to have a look. I'll, I'll, if you bring my details in, I can have a look for you. Um, boop, boop, ba -doo. We get quite a lot of 180 fluorite. carats, actually, so that's a huge carat weight, isn't it? It is. And then you've got the most amazing... If you missed out on the black spinel and you're pining for it, we've got some amazing Swarovski bicones for you. So you get those. You get the fabulous... You can see that sparkle. I know you can. Uh, and you get 48 of those. You get 72 yards of white Nymo thread, uh, 11 O beads in the Delica Metallic, You've also got the lavender alabaster in 11 O's and you have got the 8 O's there as well. So you've got uh, all those wonderful sizes and very importantly, you've got fluorite Ooh. cabochons, that incredible fluorescent glow that you're going to get from each and every one of these. Now you'll be guaranteed carrot weight. That gives me one, two, three, four, five. Did you just get three because you've got bigger ones there, oh, haven't I, you? No, I, I had some left over. So I mean, I oh, made brilliant. this. And then I had some left over. Fantastic. So you get all of this for one low price. WDX, six, right, we should be, and actually that's a great price. You're getting all those, these are genuine gemstone cabochons. So, and I think if you went to a rock and gem show and you were seeking these specific oh. beauties, you'd be paying 10 pounds a piece. I've got five here, so that would be 50 pounds. Uh, but of course, we're not staying at that price. You've also got the seed beads, you've also got the um, Swarovski, and you've got your beading thread. Now, this is a ready-to-go project. As long as you've got a beading needle, you are ready to create jewellery from this yep. one. It's true. It is true, isn't it? £40.70 is not your price, though. Your Fluorite Flurry Multi-Shape Kit is all yours. £24.95. No it's a Whoa. great price. Gosh. Great price. Sorry, I just sort of, I I don't, <laughs> I don't know what the cost of the kits is going to be. I mm. just get, I just kept the kids in and make something from them. Um, but that Good really up. floored me. Really that. fantastic. Twenty four ninety five. Uh, now have a look because you would sell that for a picture. I mean, do you still sell your jewelry on or not really? I because don't you actually. Make I, quite a lot. I make you, quite a lot of it, and I don't have the time really to to put into doing that but I wouldn't sell something like this for less than 175 pounds you know fair price because of the time of it takes the time yeah. it takes to do this and they're genuine gemstones and it's Swarovski and we've got the you know the the leather thong through it as well you could all, also put a chain onto it you could mm -hmm. also make a beaded chain too but, you know, that's a large profit that you get from it. It is. I mean, you've got to pay yourself for your time, though, mind you. Don't forget you that. You do have to pay for your time. It's a beautiful kit, and you are now going to take us into I will. the demonstration. In we can't how wait. to do shape shifting bezeling. We can't wait. So any questions, you know what to do. 60777, start your message with the word JM Studio. Um, we'd love to hear from you. We don't have long until the end of the show. It's gone so quickly. We've had too much fun it. of anything. Yeah, it is. So, all right, I've, I've spilt out these size 11 O beads. I've got size 11 O seed beads and I've got size 11 delicas difference between a Delica and a Seed Bead. Seed Bead has got rounded edges and a Delica has blunt cut edges and a Delica is used for building walls with, mm -hmm. ostensibly, and a Seed Bead is used so, for curving in and out. So if you've got a curve next to a flat thing, we're going to get it to pull something in. Okay. And uh, the way I do, you know, if I, if I get, I'm just gonna borrow these a second, if I get a bundle of stones and I look at it and I think, oh, there's a long one. Now there's a, a pointy one, a teardrop Lovely and stripey one. as well. There's a fat one. There's a thin one. How am I going to use all of these? Um, and one of the things I love to do is what I call this shape shifting. So I'm picking up four seed beads on my needle here. And I'm going to, I've, I put a stopper bead at the end so that when I go like that, they don't all fall off the other end. Um, using the incredibly useful index finger and I'm going through all of these beads again. Okay. Right. 
and I'm going to make like a little sort of a diamond and I'm going through this again, the first two, and I'm coming up to the top. Now this stitch, I d many of you will know this, but I've done almost 12 months of something of all the different stitches you use in beading. I've done DVDs of all of them. And this stitch is called right angle weave. Mm -hmm. Now I've, I've got a pre-existing bead here. So I've got one bead here. So on my next circle, I only need three beads because I've got my fourth bead already in place. Now I'm trying to do this so that my fingers don't get in the way. There we go. And I'm doing that again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a length. Now, you have to reinforce when you're doing seed beading. And the reason is that if you don't go round twice on a lot of things like this, flip it over in your fingers. Don't be afraid to do that. Um, what happens is you get gaps in between things and you don't want gaps. You want nice sort of properly created. There we go. Going through again. So I'm going clockwise, anti-clockwise on one round mm -hmm. and clockwise on the other. There we go. I'm going to flip it over again in my fingers because it makes it easier for me to go through again. Ooh, excuse me. It's pulled all my thread down. <laughs> that, would, that would never do. <laughs> Naked thread, how terrible would that be? It'll come out the needle. Right. And I'm only using this black thread because um, you can see it a lot easier than if I were using the white thread that comes in the kit. Oh, yes. You're using this for demonstration purposes. I'm just purposes. using this for demonstration Easy purposes. Easy to see. Right. The way that you change direction, and I've only done three here. I've done lots here is that you go down by the side of this one because I want to make another row and you only pick you pick up three okay and if you really want to know about right angle weave have a look and see the DVD is there there we go now you don't necessarily have to go around twice on the second one now let me just tell you, you can see that I have a bead on the side here and I've got a bead here. So I don't need to put that bead in or that bead because they're already existing. I only need to pick up two beads and I'm going to go through here. Oh, hold on. There we go. I'm trying to do this without putting my fingers on it. And then I'm going to get up through this side bead. So for the rest of the row, you would only ever do two beads, all right? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to put this down over here and show you what I've done. So you've done the whole strip like that. Right. I've done three rows here. And what you need to do is look at the beads that you've got. Look at the cabochons that you've got here, okay? Um, I think... This one is probably made as a skirt for this one. It is, okay. Or is it made for this one? I think it's made, right. If you find, you need to wrap it around whichever cabochon you have. With this one, I would make this one smaller because if you, you want look, to move around the edge. I want, I want it to hug the edge. Can and it would be it? too loose It like would be that. too loose, right? Okay. But the great benefit of doing it this way is that I can look at that and say, OK, that's a bit bigger. And then I can add rows on. So it is hugely advantageous for you to learn how to do right angle weave because it's a real basic stitch of the bead Beader's sort of armory of stitches. Um, so I'm just going to go to the end. And the other great thing that you're going to love about this stitch is that if I want to enlarge it by doing a row that way, I can. Mm -hmm. So right angle weave, you can work 
as a strip. You can work it in both directions, I suppose, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know if I'm saying that clearly enough, but you'll see when I show you this. And I can also hold it to go around. There we there go. We go. Oh, it's a naughty, naughty. Yes, we've hung our camera above our head in a slightly different place now. And can't get I'm, away with a whisker, I'm afraid. No, I need to have either be headless, which would be terribly no, difficult. No, no. Nearly headless Nick they had, didn't they? Nearly the headless head? Nick, yes. yes. Or head, whatever. My mum saw the headless horseman. Oh, did she? Mm -hmm. In Cheltenham, in Presbury. My goodness gracious. That's where I'm from, Presbury. It's the most haunted village in the Cotswolds. It could be, no, I think it's the Cotswolds. I don't think it's the UK. I don't think you can, um, it's a difficult one, isn't it? Right. Okay. Again, if you believe in ghosts, you may or may not. So, right, I've got to the end of the row here. So I've done enough. I know that this is going to go around it that way mm -hmm. to hold it, like a curve over. But I know it's not long enough to go around that fatter bead. So I'm going to just go, right, well, I need to extend this by four. So instead of having to remake something or measure something, I'm just going to add a few more rows on here. So I'm going to go, hmm, I'll, I'll add another. I think it needs another two rows. So there we go. I can just add my two rows on like this. And just keep measuring. Normally, I mean, there are some wonderful people out there who are beaders who have some fantastic formula for how you measure around a bead and then make the right size collar. I have personally, and this is only my own opinion, never found it's worked that well for me, probably because I'm not mathematically adept enough to do that. But this methodology, so, right, you'll go like that and you can say, hmm, is that big in... There, there we go. go. Let's move this over. And I'll say, is this big enough? Actually, it is probably. Oh, right. lovely knit. So now I'm going to close this up. So and you don't I, do that around the cabochon, you do it separately, Dee, and then push it on. I, I, yes, and I will, I will then, well, then what I'll, sh well, I'll show you, won't I? Hold on. Thank oh, you. There you go. We've got plenty of time. Goody, goody. So I'm going to go. So I've got three beads along the top here. Just going to go through here because I'm adding the two beads in between. There we go. And then I'm going to go through here and along here. Now, there's a little cheaty thing that I do, which I'll share with you too. And again, the purists might might say this is sacrilege, but you know, sometimes we don't always have as much time as we want to. Mm -hmm. So it's good to know shortcuts. Oh, I'm... she's going to, shortcut, life hack, bead hack. Yeah, bead hack. Hashtag bead hack. Hashtag bead hack. Well, that's, there we go. Right, and I'm putting the last, there's only one bead needed here. Uh, uh, uh. Right. Now, one of the things I do, which is a little bit naughty, but a little Kleshner hack here. Kleshack. Kleshack. <laughs> is, see that there's going to be top beads. So I now know that this is going to fit over here like that. All right, it's a little baby collar. But it's only really the front bit that's going to need to look really perfect and magnificent. So let me get my little zapper out. Oh, here she goes. Did they say the zapper's on tomorrow's show? Yes. I Thread think. zapper is back tomorrow morning. Thread zapper is back. Nine o'clock. Come back here. Thread zappers are just wonderful bits of tooling. Right, so what I do is I put through all the top beads, because remember on right angle weave there's four beads. So I'm going around catching the top bead around the whole lot. 
lovely long needle. This is what I love about it. Beading needles come in lots of different lengths, by the way. What's your preferred beading needle? I like, well, I have very long beading needles and I have very tiny beading needles. I have to say, one of the things I've requested here is that from the buyers is that we do get some short ones in because they're very useful little fellas. Ah. Short beading needles. Well, I'm sure we're on it. Um, bet we are. Right. So what are you doing at this point? What I'm doing is I'm cinching this in so that um, I can see where and how tight I need to pull it in order to hold my cabochon. So I'm going all the way around until I get back to the beginning, which I'm at now. And doing this, hold on, there, right. I now know that if I put this cab in here. Oh, that looks great. It's not going to fall through. Uh -huh. well, there we go. Fabulous. So it's like it is. It's a, a seed cradle. bead cradle. Now, I can either have that as the front or I can have that as the back and, and put it on this way round. And then what I can do is, again, I will work thread-wise to the front. I haven't got a lot of thread left on here, so I'm really sorry. I might, I would have to change it ordinarily, but I, timing-wise, I want to optimise on what we're sharing tonight. Would you be an angel and take the top off that for me? Sure, please, darling. darling. Whoops, Ooh, Daisy. That's right. Don't worry. Did you hear that? <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> Pajoying. Pajoying. One job, Jenny. That's what they don't ever call me. <laughs> right. Thank you. So what I'm going to do <laughs> now is I'm going to use these beautiful lilac delicas gorgeous. to use as an accent around the front because I know that this isn't going to fall through the back. There we so, go. There we go. I can bring this round the front. The other, the other methodology is if I, if I didn't have these delicas, when you are doing any bezeling, it's always very handy to have some 15 O's. And the reason being is that the 15 O's are smaller than the 11s. Oh, so they'll bring in, so they'll bring so it they into a tight close. It in, correct. They're, they're like sort of, the bead is oh. elastic, basically. Mm -hmm. There we go. And the other lovely thing about doing this is in between this on the side. So basically what you do is you put these all the way around and you pull it in and they will, you can see what's Knitting happening. Knitting together. You? Right. I'm just gonna move this and put that down there because it's not terribly exciting watching me going all the way around. I love it. Do you, bless you. Right, here's the ones that I used doing this. Oh, they okay. look amazing. So look all at this. I have I done the here fan you've done is I've used these rather beautiful, lightly coloured delicas to go all the way around, pulled it in, gone around again. Then I've worked thread-wise onto um, the side here. And so those bicones. The bicones you can then add in. So I'm just going to go. So you go all the way around with the delicas. Correct. And then you add in the bicones. Then you add in the bicones. So you then go down through the side here and you put perhaps one delica, a bicone, a delica, and you just weave them in and out. And here, I've done that, um, but I've managed to do it like a fringe. So you can either, the further round on the side you go, the more they'll sit on the side. The further round on the front, the more they look like a mirror. And then, do you remember earlier on I was doing brick stitch and I zipped yeah. up? Right. So the way that you put these together is you do that zipping up in between here. Okay. And you go through it more than once because you can see that doesn't droop. All right? Look at that. That looks fab. And that creates the stability. And that, my dear friends, is how you do a shape-shifting bezel. Love it. 
Thank you so much, Kalashna. Thank you. Thank you. Any thank questions? You, you know you. what to do. Just simply text us in at 60777. Start your message with the word James. You know, we, we've got less than half an hour left <gasps> on the show. It, I just can't believe how quickly this evening's gone. So without further ado, we better get on with the star bye. Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, we're very excited by these pendulums. They do have, well, I thought they did. Yes, they do. Oh, yeah. They're very hidden, actually, quite hidden. I'm just um, stealing no, Clash's pins Still um, to show you. Because Still look away. at these. Again, if you know somebody or you run a gemstone shop for people who come in for crystal healing um, things... Well, it would just be, it would be gemstones only, oh, really, if you beautiful. were running a crystal healing place, wouldn't it? Do you know, you could make a woven bale, too, out of um, delicas, too. Fantastic. Aren't these absolutely, utterly fabulous? Fabulous. They are fluorite. You've got that, look at that, almost like a round, brilliant cut end and then an elongated coulee. Um, these are going to work so well in pendulum star necklaces. And Absolutely I don't think, do you beautiful. know what, Kleshner? I think that's what these really I think are made for. I was just going to say, their real, you know, the purpose of these is, I personally agree with you, for doing that sort of thing. You've got these long facets, this amazing fluorescence you get too and they're going at a fantastic price. Ooh. I'd love one day to do a bit of a spiritual show, uh, but of course there are so many people who would be averse to that. Yeah. Have a look. Fabulous. They are, aren't they? Beautiful. I'm just gonna pop that one. A spiritual hour might be okay, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how you'd feel, jewelry makers. Look at that. I just honestly, do you know what? Uh, my grandma used to have, I don't know what it was, crystals of some sort yeah. hanging from the window. And um, they used to create in Prisons? the little tiny flickers. And she used to say they were fairies. And she used to tell me Aww. the fairies. When the sun came out, the fairies danced, she used to tell me. And um, they would go straight through the crystal in, onto the wall in the house. And there would be hundreds of them. And you moved it and they just flickered all over the room. Your prisons. Yeah. Fabulous. You could you could put these in the window, maybe. You could these are oh, well, it would energise them with the sunshine, wouldn't it? If you believe in that kind of thing, yes. Yeah, I think we all get energy from the sunshine. You know, in, I mean, well, that's there proven, is a, right? I was just going to say D there is it. a proven thing that if you don't get out, you become anemic, don't mm, you? Yeah, the vitamin so Dness need, of it. Yeah, we need the vitamin D from the sunshine. Hilda, you've got yours. Joan, you've got yours. Francis, you've got yours. Christine, you've got yours. Already queuing up on the phone lines. NBR, U30, 19 is a good price, right? You get a pack of two, £10 each. We're happy with that. Hmm. How would you like a brand new low? Never seen before. A lowest ever price. LEP. An LEP, all right. NBR, U30, you need to be ready, you need to be poised. Never, never been at the price we're about to give you. You are not taking this under £10. I don't want to watch this. Oh. They are all going to sell out, I think. Janice, Karen, get ready, check out. You've got 100 carats, 50 carats in each. The 32 by 14 uh, to 39 by 15. Here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. <gasps> Producer Ross. Producer Ross, we love you. 9.95, less than five pounds each. If you put these on a long pendulum necklace and went to a spiritualist event and you oh, sold them, word. you would sell them for so much more. Not, not even, it doesn't have to be a silver chain. You can put it on cord. You can put it on a leather cord. You can Absolutely. suspend this in so many ways. 9.95, you've got big, 
pendulums here of incredible fluorite and they will swing for you. Look at that. Yeah, do a wrap loop. Gorgeous. And, and then they'd just be perfect. Wouldn't they? Or use a triangular bale and then they will just sit perfectly. Regina's got hers, they're going to New York. Leslie in Essex, Jeannie in Cheshire, Diane in Stirlingshire, uh, Karen in Cheshire, Pam in County Antrim, and we've got Janice in London. All of you waiting to check out baskets, you need to do that, otherwise you aren't gonna miss out. We don't have loads of these, they're a brand new, lowest ever price of just 9.95. NBRU30, five, less than five pounds each, and never seen at this price before. You get a 30 day money back guarantee with everything that you purchase here at Jewelry Maker. Remember, we're talking about fluorite here. This is a gemstone. Now, let's talk, actually. Let me have a look. We haven't got the book, have we? No, it's So sorry, I'll look up for you. Don't we will, I'll do it. Don't worry. We are going to have a look at fluorite healing properties. Now, remember, I, I'm not promising you this. I'm just, there is something out there called crystal healing. Let me... There we go. There is something out there called crystal healing. We know that. That's a fact. Yeah. Um, whether you believe it or not is up to you. Absolutely. It's said to absorb and neutralise. Now, remember, these are the legends of the gemstone. Absorb and neutralise negative energy and stress. An excellent Ooh. learning aid. Fluorite is said to increase our powers of concentration. Great for anyone doing exams. Very good. Self-confidence. It helps us in decision-making. It encourages positivity. It balances the energies <laughs> and it improves balance and coordination, both physically and mentally. Isn't that lovely? Fabulous. It's lovely, isn't it? Then, um, bu -bu 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 -bum. yeah, just loads on there. There's loads. So this is a really important crystal healing gemstone, I'd say, if you believe in that kind of thing. I've actually got a, a fluorite wand by the telephone. Oh, have and you? It's not, not well, like... it is a gemstone of communication, is it? And no, concentration. Yeah, they, say, they say that, you know, I, I mean, I hold it sometimes if I've got an awkward call to make. Oh, for the concentration and yes. for the well, and also for balance the communication. Of the mind. Yes. So oh. there are all sorts of. Do you have many awkward phone calls to make? Not very much anymore. But just no. in case. No, no, just in case. Just in I case. also like it. It's just a nice thing to have, really, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Uh, now, uh, jury maker in uh, Derbyshire, Debbie in Northumberland, Diane in Stirlingshire, Leslie in Essex, you're all yet to check out. Well, it's dangerous, shark infested, no stock waters for you. Ooh. If you don't check out, you're going to miss out. You're not going to get them. There, I love that. Thanks for the pins, darling. Pleasure. Boop -ba -doo. Anytime. We're going to continue on with fluorite because if you've got that fluorite, I think this would be a great one. Uh, we're very fluorite at the moment. Oh, I cube. love a cube. Now, you know, why do you love a cube? It's one of the most difficult things to cut. And I have to tell you, do you know, if you buy Swarovski cubes, they are a fortune. I are just remember they? that. So cubes are fabulous. And I like the juxtaposition of a cube with a circle or with a round. Yeah. It's so a lovely I, contrast, isn't it? It's a lovely contrast. Now these are graduated, so you've got the smaller ones, uh, of course, at the at the very tip of the strand. Yep. Uh, they're between four and five millimeters, so they are very. Uh, it's a Fabulous. slight graduation, um, but you've got a lovely chunky area here. I think again, channel setting with these would be nice. But you know yes. something, if you've got the bead loom, I think it'll work really nicely with that too. I agree. I agree. I like a bit of bead looming, actually. I like the bubble technique with these. You, yes. you can really get a, a good tassel with a with a square as well. It's so true. a lot of movement, a lot of sound with them. So if, if, if you're looking for textural jewellery, then look no further. True. And I mean, these look sort of ombre in colour. They've ombre them on the strand, I think, haven't they? It's, it's uh, rather I really clever. like that. I, I think I'll probably keep that. I probably wouldn't mess with it too much. I agree. Nine pounds and 95 pence, 60 carats of gorgeous fluorite cubes. We're gonna keep going on. Now, we've got some lovely cabs for you. I'm just going to use this board, so I'm going to change these over. Go on, over you go. Well done. Because otherwise you won't see them. Well done. Talking to myself, well done for not spilling them, Jenny. There's well good, done. There's good chat. Woohoo! Oh, we could use the technique, my shape shifting technique. We're going to use Kleshner's technique with these. Look how purple this one is. 
If you're in a fluorite state of mind today, then we've definitely got something gorgeous I'm for in you. Fluorite state of mind. There's always a song for there Kleshner. is For everything. There's always a song. You know, my, like my son used to say to me when he was little, Mummy, how come there's a song for everything? I said, Well, there is, darling. Somebody's always written a song about almost everything now. And if they haven't, then you'll make one up. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, my, my brother was a musician. So actually, my little, my great nieces think that every grandpa just makes up songs. I mean, uh, my brother is a fab fabulous pianist and he will sort of get, one of them's called um, Emily Rose, right? And her nickname's Emmy. And she'll come in in a dress. She's terribly pretty, this little girl. And he'll go, he'll start playing on the piano. Emmy's wearing a pretty little dress. You know? And I think that they think every, I love everybody does this, you know. Our family Christmases are completely bonkers. I was just about to say, Christmas with the Kleshners. Oh my gosh, Christmas with the Keeping Kleshners. Keeping up with the Kleshdashians. Oh. Yes, oh, Christmas bonkers. with the Kleshners. Yeah, it's so sweet though. I'm coming, I'm, yeah. we need to be following. Uh, well, yes, yeah. you're most welcome. What? I don't live that far from you, Clash, and I would uh, watch yeah. what you say there. Yeah. BGV P19 1295 for these is a fantastic collection of gorgeous flora tabs. Uh, now we're going to keep going. A rat cha cha. Ooh. Oh, those are unusual. <laughs> you were about to rat tap right back at me, weren't you? They look like rosary beads, up those. They, they do look like rosary beads, don't they? Like wooden rosary beads. Good ones, beads. not like the plastic ones you get when you're little. Uh, no, no. Do you remember those? Rather fab. Big plastic rosary beads that you used to get. Oh. Now, these are fabulous, they've got a real woody texture to them. Um, or well, they look like they have, but when you feel them, you've got such a great smoothness. Now these would be great for macrame bracelets, they're brilliant for chaps jewelry, wonderful oh, on a leather just... cord. I think you can really span these out. Let's have the details. Now how often do we see bronzite? Not very often. Not very often. often. It's a really extraordinary looking stone too, isn't it? It's very interesting indeed. You've got some, almost like the Milky Way in some of these. These little sort of goldy flecks and it just does remind me of wood. It does me too, you, but when you feel it, it's heavier. Yeah, yes, I suppose wood be, would be, wood, wood. If a woodchuck could chuck wood, how much wood would... Wood, wood, wood. <laughs> <laughs> we just sound like turkeys now, don't we? Come, come, come. Beautiful bronzite rounds. So these are 10 millimetres. There's a lot you can do with a 10 millimetre round. I think I think the temptation here is to put the um, champagne gold with these and, and wire wrap them. Oh, beautiful. They're only 6 95 uh, And when you're looking for earthy tones... Now, we had the rondelles earlier. I think this will work beautifully together. Wouldn't that look at that? Oh, fabulous. oh, I love that. I love those. Oh. Just alternate them, just alternate them How in the stretching. How beautifully natural would that be? Gorgeous too. and so autumnal. It's so ready for your fluffy mohair jumpers, your oh. white fluffy mohair jumpers, oh, yes, yes. your boots, your lovely leather knee high boots oh. with your jeans and your oh. chunky scarves and oh, yes. you know, Rack mold up. wine in hand or hot chocolate, depending oh. on if you're driving yum, or not. Yum, yum. We're there, aren't we? We are. We're, We're there. in Borough Market. Tasting all those delicious Ooh, wouldn't samples. That be yum. Oh gosh, the foodie market of mm. London, eh? It's brilliant at Christmas time there. God, it must Ooh, be actually. You get I some mold wine, mold oh, cider. Go, Have you never been? No, do you oh, know? Oh, it's brilliant. Actually, the Royal British Legion is in that road, same road as Borough Market. There you go. You can. Uh, Visit them and visit. Have some lovely food. Yeah, at the same I'll go time. and have some foodie Why things. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Oh, that's pretty. Is this highlight? Oh. Does this girl know her gemstone? Is this the Viking this gemstone know? highlight? So um, my sister, my sister, the clever one, because oh. I'm the youngest, so I'm obviously the thick one. Um, well, what happened was I just got annoyed with all the cleverness and I was like, I'm rebelling against this. Quite right too. It's what happens to younger children. Um, my sister is a doctor of history and she, she specialises yeah. in the Viking period. Oh, so this, Ooh, she's taught me like all sorts. See, she's taught me all sorts, and um, she also taught me about some swear words that we use today that are horribly horrific, which is normal words to the Vikings. Really? Yeah, How we've made them into swear words. 
Um, so she's quite sweary sometimes. Anyway, um, the Viking period is quite, um, this is uh, quite an important gemstone to the Viking period because they would hold Iolite up to the, towards the sun and you could see the sun through the clouds through Iolite. So if it was a cloudy, cloudy day, it's Iolite they would use. Um, so it was al almost a modern day navigation system. Wow. Because they would need it to guide their ships. Of course. So this is a gemstone we have known and used since the Viking age. I mean, that was a long time ago. It was just a fair while ago. Just a fair while so. Yes. Yes, Dr. Susan Kilby is my sister. She's published uh, Doctor of History. She? Yeah. Well, our, the, the, uh, our technical guy here, Matt, is mega into the Vikings, isn't he? Is he, he? really? Oh, did you not know that? Yeah, Matt has... I'm going to go and tell him. I'll get he him my sister's all the book. He can't do stuff. that, yeah. <laughs> My sister goes and tells teaches people in Cambridge. Oh wow! Well, she's good. No, Matt. That's why Matt's got very long hair and oh. so that he can go and do the Viking reenactments. Yeah, stuff. never think it of me either. Seven ninety five. I love that, that watching everyone do their reenactment stuff because I just the, think it's, it looks great. It looks like fabulous fun, doesn't it? I just it? think it's so nice that someone's got so much of a commitment to a, a period in time in history. Mm. It is fascinating, though, isn't okay. it? But the, but this is what we can identify through gemstones as well. We can actually, I mean, look at amber. It's given us a snapshot of history, and then look That's at something true. like zircon, which yes. um, they had to rewrite history books because of it because they realised that once they'd analysed its makeup, actually, it was older than what we thought the earth was how amazing is that i just think it's gemstones are mind-blowing like that and when you look at something like this iolite it's such a specific inky blue color isn't it it's wonderful it's like you know when you used to get the ink cartridges and you used to blob them out oh yes i it's do that kind of amazing blue I that love deep it. deep deep blue with the flashes of clarity it's great it's a fabulous gemstone and again when you've got something that's got such deep history behind it i think that gives you uh, more of a, an encouragement to create something fabulous out of it because you sort of want to do this gemstone so much justice oh, gosh, you, yes. so, uh, maybe you want to do something with chain mail or maybe you want to do something um i don't know in a viking kind of way what did they used to use as currency in the viking age that's a weird thing as well isn't it god i can't remember I what it was know. they used to use something strange as currency i can't remember that can't i wouldn't be at all surprised but i mean i mean they were very clever do you know other generations we we look back on and and i think the way they used to use herbs the way they used to invent tools yeah the... well look the way they used genuine gemstones to help them this is what i'm saying we've lost our connection, connection with yeah, the earth i agree they used what sorry Oh, Anglo-Saxon billions. But what were they made out of? Oh, real silver, was it? <laughs> well, I suppose that's why people go along the Thames, isn't it? You, you have these people who will go along the Thames and try and find Viking okay. things. Oh, yes, they find little bits of that. pots and Roman oh. things. You know, they go along with their... Sivers. Yeah. Oh, with their beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep yeah. things, yeah. their beeper, beeper, beepers. You know, <laughs> the beep, beep, beep thing. Jewelry was chopped up. Hack silver. Wow. I love it. I do, oh, Ooh. I know. Viking knit. That's what they used to They used to cut that up and use it. That's what it was. Ah. They used Viking wheat. You know Viking yeah, knit? Yeah, I know Viking They used to knit. do that and they used to chop it up. They used to do it in silver. That's what it was. That's what it was. That's why it's called Viking knit. Well, maybe it's because they invented the knit, probably that. And they wore the bracelets and that was their wealth Very on clever. them. Clever, isn't it? Now, look at these. Now, I actually saw, you know, Facebook Marketplace, other marketplaces are yes. available. Somebody was selling very similar agate coasters, they oh, were calling I've them. Seen the agate coasters. And well, they are so expensive. I used to, uh, when, when, when I was in the fashion business, I used to crochet in sterling silver with beads oh. in and these massive agate um, pendants with mixed mixed beads in and wow. they look so beautiful yeah but this is a statement piece isn't it it's a very love arty it. piece it's absolutely a very... loving it loving it loving it loving it like that yeah. um now you've got the formation here we go there you go and that was the um the garage the uk garage movement in history that kleshna was referencing there yeah. uh, now <laughs> she's a london girl Look at all of that. Look at that look at the way fab. they've been sliced and, and how we're getting to enjoy it's each so, one. It, it's, it's very authentic. That's what I love about yeah. this. It's, you know, absolutely beautiful. 
you want to sort of see. Yeah, yeah but don't it, you think that's something travelling through like a, a and Munch slowly making face its way of the here? Scream, isn't it? Yeah. It looks like oh. Edvard Munch going. Oh. oh, stop! I've been watching The House on Haunted Hill, and I'm oh, so no, I couldn't, scared. I couldn't watch. I can't watch anything like that. I don't think I've. No, I haven't finished it. I watched one last night. I can, honestly. I, I am I a little bit messed up inside like because of this. No, 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 $7.95. I, I don't want to know. I can't watch those things. Oh. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. They're telling la, Clashner la, about la, it. La, well, la, I only la, watched la, it because someone said, oh, watch that. And I watched it and now I'm absolutely petrified. Now I can't stop watching it because my thing is, if you start watching something that's terrifying, you need to watch it to the end I, where I they understand. go, oh, by the way, that happened because of that. And then you're like, okay, phew, I can sleep at night. But last night I was watching it and then I realised I was on my own in the front room and I ran and the dog ran out of the room and I was like, don't <laughs> <laughs> you, when you're watching something scary and something drops or something, you know, and you're so intently and something happens and you go, oh! Yeah. <laughs> It's awful, isn't it? <laughs> Not good. Seven ninety five is your price for these. These are good. These are beautiful, and they are nature's goods. Uh, T N V R fifty four is your item code for those. They're, listen to the clang they make. They sound fab. I'm liking that. You can that. encase these in um, in macrame as well. I'm thinking um, really lovely sort of cream macrame threads. Ooh, very seventy yes. stone. Remember how you used to have the plant pot macrame with yes. the spider plant coming out of it? You could incorporate them in a dream yes. catch. Away. You could. Do you ever watch the Return to the Chateau no. with that wonderful? Oh God! Oh, you must. Oh well, gosh! Yeah. The um, wonderful couple who bought a, a French chateau, and she she has yes. bright red. She's hair. famous, isn't she? Yes. Yes. And can't Dick remember. And, and uh, Angel, she's called. And she oh, was making know, this yeah. incredible macrame hanging. Wow! They've, they've got these sort of outside glam. Glamping, oh. and that would have been fabulous. Yeah, for it? those sort of hippie yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, I tell you what, it's time for a last star buy. <gasps> no. These Jasper rounds we kept grabbing and grabbing oh, and grabbing wow. and grabbing. You've got mookite tones in here. You've got yeah. those wonderful French mustards. You've got those incredible deep maroons. I love that. I think these are the, the definitely countryside colours. Absolutely fabulous, aren't they? Aren't just they just lovely. gorgeous? Look, don't, look at that one. Look at that. And if you have got mookite, it will really work so well with it. The colours, the formation, the, the patterns, they're gorgeous. Yeah, do you know what? I really like this. It's like a, a wonderful marble, that, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. And, and that's the sort of thing we simulate, and it's natural in here. You know, like, think of a simulated marble. We make Marbles are made, like, to, to, you mm, know, mm. really to try and be as beautiful as they can. Um, you could play glamorous marbles. marbles with these, well, could you? Could, you? Yeah, what's the, so, what's the game where you go zip, zip, zip with the marbles? Is it sort of... I can't remember. I don't know. I mean, I just call it marbles, basically. No, you know, you've got a round disc. It's got a hole oh, in oh, the middle. Oh, oh, I know what you mean. Yes, yes, solitaire. Not hungry hippos. The solitaire. Is it solitaire? No, yeah, it's called solitaire. So you have a board you have and to you take the one, one out over in the middle and, one, and, you, and it goes yeah, round yeah, yeah. the little spinner. And you've got to do it so you've got one left in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, solitaire. It's really difficult. My granny used to have that. Yeah, I yeah. Used to stand we for used ages, to have a it. wooden solitaire board. Yeah. It, it's in a hexagonal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. ours was in a round. Oh, right. Ours was hexagonal. Because when you get rid of them, they went round. No, no, no. Ours oh, was the same. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Great fun See, it was. See, before the internet, we actually did oh, stuff. We used to play games. Beautiful. Yeah. You might remember doing stuff, Leah, but I, I'm not sure. Whether it, oh, maybe they will. Mine will. They were always outside. Oh. Beautiful colours here. You've got incredible... But look, I mean, if you get close to these, you'll always find a favourite in a strand, Absolutely. won't you? Absolutely. I'm just trying to look for mine. Which one? I think it could be that. I really like the mustards, but I think that one's my favourite. Can we just show you? I'm just going to bring this one up. Look at the blue. Uh, yeah, I was just thinking denim. Denim You've blue. You've got so many tones in here. And do you know something, Kleshner? Sometimes I really struggle with putting colours together. So it's strands like this that are confidence givers, yeah. I think, for those like me that are a bit apprehensive when it comes to putting colours together. Because I'm not a fashion designer. I'm not great with putting colours together. I wear a lot of black because of that, or mm. solid colours because of that. Um, I, I just think this is a great, great way of just restranding. Nature. Maybe, yeah, exactly. A, a, do you know what? Just celebrate these colours because they're totally natural. And at 14 95 you've got a wonderful, wonderful 
strand, 260 carats, part of the Jasper showcase. Here it is for you. Q F K Y40. We're going to give you one oh. more quickie. Oh. oh, and it's a multi stranders. So we've got wow. three strands here. We've got some gorgeous Jasper. Look at that one. Beautiful. So more Jasper, more Jasper, more Jasper. Now you can separate these. You can put them together. You've got two strands the same. So obviously I don't need to point out which ones are the same to you. You can see them. Uh, and then you've got this. See, almost here, you sort of look twice and think, is that a cheeky bit of tiger's eye that's absolutely, you know, accidentally made its way in there? All three going under 20 pounds. Again, let's look at that. That one's my favorite. Look at the, look at the stripes oh. on it. Look oh. at the way it just moves. Like when you pour cream over a hot oh. chocolate cake. That's Ooh, what that looks yes, like. Yes, I could oh. deal with hot chocolate cake. Oh, we all could, couldn't we? Look. Again, we've got a variety of, um, so here you've got eight mil rounds and 10 mil rounds. 10 mil in the in, in the center. Again, with a nice cream uh, macrame cord. Beautiful. I think it looked lovely like that, or a hessian Absolutely. kind of color. Then with the black jasper here, the terra jasper, you, you have this sort of lacing over the top. We're gonna work very fast with this one. It's only 1895 GTX C18 is your item code. You've got, uh, you, could, you could easily knot these, couldn't you, into your Marla bracelets. Oh, very good. Kleshi, thank you so much. You've My been an pleasure. inspiration. It has gone like that. It has, hasn't it? You, the thing of a good show is, mark of a good show is, it just goes poof. Yeah, and then it's gone. And uh, it's gone. But you're back in the morning with some I'm very exciting things. I am, I am. We've got the thread zapper. You've got, what was the other amazing I'm, thing I'm you had? The two. ring thing. Oh, I've got the ring weaver. Ring weaver. Which you can work with all of these amazing things that we've got here. And I'm going to make wish bracelets that you wish you had so tune in 8 a.m live with Kleshi. i'll see you on friday have a wonderful evening good night god bless Order from us today at www.jewelrymaker.com. Join designers Gemma and Monica for lots of inspiration and demonstration. Come and join us from 1 p.m. this Thursday for a Crafternoon. Hello, guest designer Fleur here. Welcome to my studio. I'm happy to announce that this Friday it's Fleur Day, a whole day for me. So we've got the whole day split into three categories. So our morning show will be all about our classics, where we've got some beautiful hand-selected pearls. So Marie and Caroline have selected the pearls for their beauty and their size and their luster. We've also got sterling silver French wire, which is very important to finish those pieces off beautifully. In the mid-show, we've got stretchy bracelets, so perfect gift ideas. We've got sterling silver gold-plated and rose gold-plated sterling silver spacer beads and a beautiful pearl pendant. And then in the late show, it's back to basics. So we've got some beautiful gold colored pearls, which are absolutely fabulous to work with. We're gonna be using all of our findings. So we're gonna be doing things like wrapped loops. We've also got a kit with 100 sterling silver featherweight head pins as well. I'm gonna show you what you can do when you finish with them. So join me on Friday all day from nine in the morning till 10 at night.
Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewelry making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewelry making journey. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Alison Terry designer here, really excited. Just been filming my latest DVD with Zena. It's all about the nativity with sea beads. So on this DVD, you're gonna learn how to make Mary, Joseph, the baby Jesus, of course. And we also take you through how to make the wise men and the shepherds. And it's launching this Wednesday on The Mid Show. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. ...to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Blew us a kiss, or was it a hand signal? <laughs> was it? A, was it a kiss? It was a hand. Uh, that was nice.
Oh. Paracord, 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 paracord. This is paracord. It has not been on the morning show. For like two years, it, it is the be. return it of a hero. Yeah, and what's really, really special is, since we launched Paracord birthday, I think you and I launched it, mm. birthday show five or six years ago, it must oh have gosh. been. It was. All those years ago. Because I think on the DVD you and I filmed, you were with child, oh gosh. I believe. Oh, don't remind um, me. <laughs> since then, um, we've found an amazing new supplier, which have produced us with amazing number of buckles, colour coordinated buckles. Yeah. Amazing brand new colours. We've got these sort of tartan camo colours. We've got everything and the tools, everything. It's just been amazing find. Talk to yeah. us, Mark. Why is it called Paracord? What is it? What right. are we looking at I'm here, glad you Mark? Asked. I'm glad you asked. So this is, this is Paracord, okay? And mm. as the name suggests, it was developed in the Second World War for parachutes. Mm -hmm. So chaps and equipment jumping out of aeroplanes, they needed something strong to attach mm -hmm. their, their chutes to Absolutely. or their equipment. And there are five thicknesses of paracord. We sell two of them. We sell paracord 95, which is yeah. the smaller, thinner version. And this is known as paracord 451. Okay, now the 451, the numbers that you have after the paracord, denotes the number of pounds in weight that it will hold. So 451 pound in weight that will hold just one little piece. Now it comprises of, of two sections. You have the outside cover, which is mm. known as the sheath. Mm -hmm. And then inside, if I just cut. Oh no, I don't like the name of the inside. Whoops, sorry about that. Okay, and inside we have seven of these double these strands. Now each of these strands are made up of three pieces which are twisted. Mm -hmm. And this is this is how it's the strength. Now paracord four um, ninety five. Mm -hmm. It's the same outside covering, but it only has one of these inner threads, and mm -hmm. that will hold. That will still hold 95 pounds mm -hmm. in weight, which is still about 40 bags of sugar, if you think of it. That's amazing. That the inside's the, yeah, called the guts, isn't that's it? it? And the, the outside, yeah, and it's called the guts. The guts. Yeah. Um, and the outside material here is made of exactly the same material as your nylon cord, your eslon. So you know that we can we can melt and splice Eslon together, yeah. and you can do that exactly the same. So with Paracord, you don't really need to use any glue. It's basic equipment. It's really really affordable. Very very quick makes. Kids can get involved with Paracord, and yep. all you need is sharp pair of scissors, which I think we've got these on the show coming up a bit mm -hmm. later on. Is a pair of scissors, a naked flame of some description. Look at those; they're amazing. I like that Gorgeous. pink and black one. Yeah, me too. Um, a pair of scissors. Um, uh, a naked flame, so I, I use a good old fashioned cigarette lighter that you can use, it, you know, barbecue lighters if you want something, you know, a bit more, I don't know. No, it's fine. Right. And 